Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Hello, friends. Thanks for being here and hanging out with us on Twitch. Yes, Hello. I am ready for some chill vibes. Yeah, just as we were hyping ourselves know, up. Like, Get ready to chill. Everybody just chill. chill. Let's take it easy. Let's take How are it easy. How y'all feeling today? Yeah, yeah. Can we do a little check-in? Yeah, let's do a vibe check. How's everybody feeling? I see a lot okay, of call for let's chill. Do. Let's breathe. Let's, let's do, do a it. vibe check. You're feeling a little tired. You're loving this game. You're feeling very warm. Us too. Uh, you're in Definitely. need of this stream, us yes. too. Nice feeling a little angry, valid, yeah. valid. Valid. Uh, feeling tired and stressed, feeling cozy, feeling ready for this stream. Feeling Kinda exhausted, feeling great. I'm glad to hear that. Send some of that through. Frustrated, a little sleepy and happy. Right on. Getting ready for a wedding this weekend. Hey, that's exciting. Well, we are here to bring some chill vibes to not only you, but to us. Yes, so. yes. Well, I'll tell you what, team. We'll trade you chill vibes. Yeah, let's okay? trade. Uh, you give some chill vibes. We'll, we'll give some chill we'll vibes. We'll send as much chill as we can in a chill way. Mm -hmm. And just send it on back. And we'll yeah. just keep... It'll be a wave flung. of chill. A wave, a wave of chill. A wave of chill. Mm. Big thanks to everyone who recommended Unpacking. We're very much looking forward to playing it. It seems yeah. like a perfect game for a Friday. <laughs> Hello. Chill waves incoming. Hey, Ali, how you doing? Good to see you here for the Hello. first time. Welcome, come on in. And Slayer, welcome back. Slayer, how you doing? Welcome back, Slayer. Slayer. So chill. I know. <laughs> hey, LLB, how LLB you doing? LLB with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Sending a lot of good vibes your way. Yes. And extra boops. Extra boops. Extra boops. Appreciate you, you, LLB. Sending you love. Sending you love. Thank you for being here with us, friends. We appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also want to say thank you so much to Magnolia Sims for starting us off with a big gift sub group hug. Magnolia Sims, can we offer you a chill hug as well? How about some... Um, oh, and I see we have a birthday. A we parrot? Have... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So chill? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Me uh, chill. He's <laughs> chill until the very end. Yeah, and then uh, he freaks ha out. Happy birthday to you. Jules, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jules. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for being here. And, and Black Rose, welcome back for nine months. Uh, we say he's a Twitch baby. Raise it upright. Teach, Teach it, it to, to vote. vote. That's right. Voting is mm -hmm. super important, team. Yep, yep. Um, thank you all for being here with us. This is great. Happy birthday messages flowing for you. And if there's anybody else who's just, you know, also like uh, celebrating a birthday, but uh, in a lurky mode, we're sending you a happy birthday anyway. Pew. Sending you. <laughs> <laughs> so this game seems yeah. real chill. Yeah, so this is a game called Unpacking, which is a relatively new game. And um, it has been recommended to us. And I'm excited because it seems real chill. What I, uh, I don't know too much about it, but I do know that we're going to be unpacking someone's life throughout the different stages of their growth, mm -hmm. um, through their, through their youth and childhood into their adulthood, perhaps. Maybe. So, um, I'm excited to unpack someone else's life because... I don't have to do that for my own. <laughs> yeah, I do actually really like unpacking things though, or I mean, it can be stressful to move, but the actual like unpacking and bring them into a new, I'm, I'm just glad this isn't like pack it up and now you gotta carry it. Yeah, I no, hope. I don't wanna carry it. Pack it up and carry it doesn't yeah. sound like my vibe, but unpack mm -hmm. it and make a house a home sounds good to me. Um, Leeton Films, thank you so much. Fun fact about this, uh, this little key, this belonged to a diary that I had when I was, when I was just in a, a little one, when I was a youth. <laughs> wow. Back in the day, That's and I exciting. really liked it so much, so I kept it. I'm curious, who here journals or keeps a diary or mm. some kind of a log or something? I've, I've found a bunch of our journals and things and moved them to a new shelf and checked in with some of them, and I realized I've done a lot of journaling, and it's something I want to return to because it seemed kind of essential to my to my psyche you do a lot of you do there i you go. especially like journaling just uh um just like a word vomit <laughs> you know yeah, stream of consciousness yeah stream of consciousness just whatever i'm feeling uh not being precious with it just getting 
getting it out onto the page. Um, and usually I feel better after doing that. So that's my favorite way to journal is to just bleh. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to explore this story. Should we jump in? Let's um, do it. I first want to say well, yes. welcome back to Lika. Lika, Lika, welcome who's back. Who's saying, I'm so glad you're playing this game. I'm, I'm glad I'm we glad are too. too. Thank you for recommending it. And uh, I'm going to put this up here real quick. If you want to recommend another game, mm -hmm. uh, there's a panel like this down below the video or exclamation point games in the chat. We'll get you a link to a very fancy forum that tells us to play Unpacking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of fancy forms, um, we have upcoming games. Tomorrow, Saturday, we are playing The Quarry, which is a super spooky and awesome new game by Supermassive. Uh, on Sunday, we're going to start Red Dead Redemption 2. So come take a ride on the wild side with us. <laughs> and then on Tuesday, we're playing Stardew Valley. Yes. And chilling. So chill. <laughs> hey, Stardew London Valley. Pickle, it's your first time watching the stream. Well, welcome. Hello, London Pickle. Thanks Hello. for being here. Hello. And, and Hazi Barum, thank you for being here for six months saying that you love this game. Can I ask, uh, type a one in the chat if Unpacking is your all-time favorite game, or a five in the chat if it's in the top five, or a 10 in the chat if it's in the top 10. I'm curious, where where does this game sit? Because some of you are really, uh, really, really super stoked about this game in particular. All the puppers, welcome back for three months, and Carrie Berry's back for 21 months. Awesome. Serena is here. Well, we're so Serena glad you're here. here. And Hello. thanks for being here for three months. And Makachino. Makachino. Oh my gosh, 49 months? Makachino, I owe you and all the other 49 month crew who there's not a ton of. Uh, you're the elders of a gentle race, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to send you all a message if you've been on this uh, channel for more than four years to find out what should our new badge be because we've used the heart with so many different color combinations now that I'm running out of colors to change it. Uh -huh. And we're thinking about doing a new shape or something. So I'm gonna ask all the longtime subs yeah. uh, by DM. So keep an eye on your whispers. And Hoshi Shang, welcome back for 41 months. Hey oh Hoshi, welcome back. <laughs> and uh, Alyssa Alcyone, welcome back for 39 months. Another longtime friend with Cog in the Machine for 41, 41 months. Okay, so this game is bringing back some some long time folk. We're glad yeah. to see you. And I also see a lot of brand new people, people who are typing into the chat for the first time. Yes, hello. Uh, thank you for joining. And if you're here for the first time, you can click the little heart, uh, the purple heart in the chat and like, uh, let us Octu? know. Hello. O o otaku? Otaku? Is otaku, how time? are you doing? Hi, no. hi. Um, nice to see you. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Let's I have it. the controller. I like this little this little pink pig. Can you make a um, pink pig? Let me see if there's. I'm gonna double check the sound here. Can you click a thing and see if we get sound? All right. I'm gonna make an adjustment as I'm should known it, to do. Should it have sound here? Just a moment. All right. Just in case. Just in case. Let me move the PlayStation. It's necessary. Hey, Shiris Gemina, welcome back for 39 months. And Kitty Black Cat, thank you so much for cheering with Alison the Batch, saying you love this game. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm glad, so glad you do. All right, now we have some game audio, audio? for them oh, yeah. and some game audio for us. Okay, so controls, controls are here. They do things. Audio is here. We don't need any uh, languages, English. Okay, let's go. Sweet. Back. Ready to go. Yes, let's play. Bing. Oh, different books. Blue book? Bring me the blue book. This book belongs to... Oh, oh want to name ourselves, team? What should we name ourselves? And I don't know if this game does have subtitles. I didn't does see it? that option. Uh, let us know if it does. I can turn on the closed captioning for our channel uh, by clicking the little purple CC icon on the screen. Bingus, a lot of love for Bingus. Always Bingus. All right, Bingus it is. For anyone who may not know who Bingus is, they were initially our, uh, our son in Oregon Trail, that old classic. And he was our youngest son and died after one day in adequate grass. And then was uh, immortalized as a gourd. And then the gourd went bad and then became a plushie and is now- Flowing <laughs> through the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless yeah. up, Bingus. Yeah. 
May he always have adequate 1997. Rest. Oh, who was alive in 1997? Shout out to everybody who was alive in 1997. I was. You're doing great. You're still in it. All right. So, this looks like a dorm room to me. Oh, box open. This does look like, it could be a, uh, uh, yeah, definitely the built-in desk says dorm room or, or childhood room. Somewhere in my youth. Oh, childhood. Is anything in here? No. Oh, nice. Lots of room to move in. I must have done oh. something. All right, that's my dude. We got to uh, name that guy. Who is this? He's a princely little frog. Does he have a name? Maybe he already has a name, but... Froggo? I like him. Tiny Froggo. <laughs> mm, Freddy? Fre Fergie? Forg? Froger? Well, I feel like with this guy Franklin. here, I, got, I gotta grab, I gotta grab the I kinda like the Franklin. Bingus. Franklin the Frog. You will be named uh, Franklin uh, and all the other names oh, on My Little Pony. This is the Bingus Gourd. Plushy. Okay, well, you're gonna get a special, <laughs> a special... <laughs> top shelf. Top shelf moment. Would you like me to grab some I My think, I think you have to. Um, fun fact about me, I have a pretty massive, uh, a, pretty, a pretty good collection of uh, My Little Ponies. Dramatically revealed thus. Yeah, these are my two favorites. I have others, but... These are in the best condition and they're my favorites, but they're my childhood, childhood toys. Just on standby right here, yeah, just you know, out. within reach. Yeah, this is Firefly, <laughs> and I always called this one Party Hat. I don't know what her actual name is, but she has party hats on her butt. Which will get you that name. Yeah. If you go around with party hats on your butt, people are going to call you Party Hats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Look at that horse. Look at that horse. Look at the detail on the mane. Look at the party hats on the butt. Can Who's I, that guy? Can I rotate you? He's like an action figure guy, right? Right. I had a lot of action figures as a kid. You can be on your own over there. What kind of action figures did you all collect? I had some... Oh, another My Little Pony. You gotta have them in Paris. How do you... Can you rotate them? What is this? Try the, try the uh, joystick, babe. Oh, oh no. Uh, jam, jam R3, or circle. Ah! Hey! Look right. to your left, look to your right. Are there any professionals? No, good. All right, well, I, I, will, uh, I must move this other one. I will put you here. And then, oh. There you go. Uh, sir, I'm going to put you down here. Right there. And you go with your friend. Yeah, top shelf pony life. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm glad we got our priorities set here, Bengus. You had some Spider-Man? There we go. I, I, I definitely had a ton of Star Wars action figures. And Lord of the Rings. Ooh, a troll. troll! Definitely has some troll dolls. Not like in a beloved way, but they were around, you know? You always just kind of found them with the other toys. Like, how'd you get in there? Who are you? And your mom thinks they're awesome, because... I had trolls. You had... you, But don't you feel like your folks were maybe a little more into the trolls than you were personally? Or did you no, love no, the trolls? No, no, I was into the trolls. I was into it. Ooh, this one's cool. Yeah. Okay, how about you... Yeah, the superheroes can go together. This is chill. Nice. You had trolls and you loved them. What color hair was the best troll? They had all had crazy color hair, right? Every color hair? And multicolored hair? Oh my gosh! Tamagotchi! This is a Tamagotchi! Can we talk about the Tamagotchi right now? Or it's a Gigapet. Is this a Gigapet? It's egg-shaped. That looks... I mean, they both kind of were, were both, but yeah. I think Digimon was overall square-er. I, I had a Tamagotchi an and I had a Gigapet. I preferred my Tamagotchi, though. Who are you? That's like a... Oh, he's cool. That's a cool duck. That's very cool duck. Uh, <laughs> with the Tamagotchi, you had to make sure you fed him. You had to clean up after him. You had to give him little hearts. All right, the pig is friends with the uh, duck. Yeah. I know that pig. He's famous. That, that's the cover that's, art that's pig. That's the famous pig. Oh, there he is. He's real famous. He's documented. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the bottom. There you go. Yeah, it's a little shiny to have yeah. it right next to. Oh, here we go. Oh, I could put it in the window. Ooh, that's, I mean. Uh, it's going to get hot. It's going to get hot. Yeah, your, your batteries are not going to last in the in direct sunlight. Your aunt had a huge troll doll collection that scared you. Uh, for some reason, I feel like that might be why she had it. 
you know? <laughs> I do think it's pretty crazy the things that we remember, like, when you go to visit a relative's house. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember going to visit my grandmother's house. I think you might have even been with me, or maybe it was on the trip when I moved from New York to L.A. But I remember sitting with my grandma and talking, and I said, there are 13 fake apples in that bowl. And I hadn't been there in a very long time, but I went over and counted them, and there were 13. And I'm imagining that I, as a kid, was counting those fake apples a lot, because I just knew that. Nice! Oh, sweet! Oh man, if just getting rid of cardboard was that easy. I know. Alright, let's gonna put this soccer ball over here. In the corner. This is seriously chill. This is very much my speed right now. This is what my heart needed. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, it's just what I needed. I needed so much to chill. <laughs> oh. Cyber, thanks for being here for eight months, my friend. All right, you stay here for a second. Oh, a trophy. And I'm going to put you down here. That's pretty cool. A soccer trophy. And you are going to go over here. Did you ever get a sports trophy? <laughs> no? Okay, I have a story to tell all of you. Tell a story. <laughs> when, I was in, uh, when I was in fifth grade, I tried out for the, uh, I tried out for the base basketball team. And um, they had three teams. They had the A team for, you know, the, the pro the pro athletes. Right. Uh, you know, fifth grade pro. Uh, oh, journal. <laughs> the fifth grade professional I'm gonna athletes. This, I'm going to put this on. They were paid. On bed. Um, drafted at fifth grade level. Um, and then they had the B team. And then they also had the C team. And the C team was like, they, they, they basically, anybody who tried out was going to get was going to get on a team, even even if you weren't the, that good. And, uh, right, because you're in fifth grade, in fifth and grade, what yeah. does it matter? And so I got put on the C team, and um, I was... Uh, I think I could put this on the wall. Nice. Um, I was on the C team. Yeah, lots of drawings. And uh, <laughs> basically what happened was... Um, we didn't win a single game, like not a single game. We lost every game we played. And my coach called me the uh, the secret weapon. But the secret weapon could only be unleashed at the end of the game. And I thought, you know, I was like, oh, I'm a secret weapon. But then years later, I was like, was she just telling me that to make me feel better? Because I was like, not very good, but she wanted me to still have confidence. You were the secret weapon, and if they had put you in in the first minute of gameplay, you would have made all the other children cry. They would have retired from the sport, hung up their jerseys. You no, know, I feel like I was. You pretty, would have decimated them with your prowess. I was pretty good at the defense. I was pretty good at defense. I would knock balls straight out of the air. She does have quite like a. I got a good. Reach. She's got a wingspan on her team. Yeah. Playing, um, play, playing ball with Amelia is a lot like it's a lot of this, and she's good at the defense. I, yeah, yeah. So I definitely did knock balls from the air, but I uh, I never really you know could have played volleyball. <gasps> Look at this! Look at this! Uh, it's a dreidel. Oh, sweet! A dreidel. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I, I made, made you out, out of clay. clay. When dreidel, you're dreidel. Dry, ready, oh dreidel, I shall play. Dreidel. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Perfect. Oh, Ooh, Rubik's, Rubik's cube. cube. Okay, so we got some kind of genius here. Yeah. Anybody can do it. A Rubik's Cube, no problem. Like, they see a Rubik's Cube, and they're just like, mm, that's a snack. You I can just back. crush it. Because uh, to me, a Rubik's Cube, <clears throat> once you start, you're in big trouble. That'll take away an afternoon. I'm a stubborn person, and I'm not good at Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> uh, trash bin. All right, let's put the trash, like, right underneath the desk. <clears throat> Ooh, checkers. More chess. Or a dual set, which is fun. Got a lot of games. Lots of games, lots of drawings. Very playful person. Good they toys. like to play soccer and are awarded. They have a Giga Pet. That's they pretty have incredible. Rubik's Cube. Well rounded individual. They have a dreidel, a uh, diary. What's that one? Operation? Procedure. <laughs> it's the Don't Sue Us version of Operation. More books. Lots of books. Good amount of books. 
Can you open the books? Scissors. I see. You're doing a really good job sorting these. I, I want to let you all know that <clears throat> Amelia and I have been doing some like around our place tasks recently, you know, getting a lot of things situated or organized. So this is very much where we are energetically. Yeah. We've been sorting drawers. And is this an eraser? It looks like an eraser, yeah, or a stamp, or a, I guess like that is. What do you think this is? This is 97 after all, people used erasers back then. It's a big a eraser. A big eraser. Right. We have some little fun erasers that were sent to us, little char yes. character ones. Ooh, who are you? Oh, it's like Figment. Where are you gonna go though, man? Up top. I would put, that's, yeah, that's a lookout. You want you want a friend like that looking out over the edge, make sure nobody's sneaking up the ladder. Mm. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's what you need. Yes, right by the bed. Lisa Frank. Lisa Frank poster. Lisa Frank poster of a dog. <laughs> yeah. An angel dog. Yeah. With a rainbow. <laughs> Among the butterflies and clouds. I remember Lisa Frank's stuff team. That was everywhere. I was undeniably present. <gasps> a Game Boy. Game Boy, sweet. Put that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. I got like a look kind of a game station we got going on there. <laughs> so we feel about the Rubik's cube. Man. So, oh, hey, that's pretty cute. That's really it's like cute. A little lookout. I had tons of stuffed animals growing up as well. There we go. Lots of books. Lots of books. You know, we got a lot of book on, books on our bookshelf, but, um, oh, Polaroid? Polaroids. Oh, man. Uh, is there any, is the other side of the cabinet full? We got a lot of. Oh, I took oh, a picture. Oh, cool. So Square is to take a photo now. Yes, it's getting full. That's cool. So you can always zoom in and zoom out with the D-pad. I'm seeing in the upper left corner, just if you want to try it. I don't know if you can go in more or out. Interesting. This is, good. this is the best. Yeah. It's the sweet spot. So we can turn the objects and interact with them too. Awesome. Thank you, friends, for the pro tips. I appreciate you sharing with us. And Angzilla, thank you for being here for 29 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support, friends. And Leeton Films, appreciate your cheers and your party vibes. And Jessica B. Thank you for using your Prime. If you'll have Amazon Prime, you can link it to a Twitch subscription for free with exclamation point free in the chat. You can play the radio and solve the Rubik's Cube. Cool. All right, I'm gonna make this Oh, that's one. cute. <gasps> Wait, that little bus? Yeah. Let me show you what I have. Oh, a jump rope. Look, <laughs> it's a red bus. I got this in the UK. It's got tea inside. All right, I'm gonna put my exercise stuff in the corner to encourage <laughs> exercise. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you see your exercise stuff, you're more likely to use it. Nice. All right, our little our Ooh, journal our diary is flashing. is flashing at us. You have your locket. I know. On your necklace. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you like this little bus here. <laughs> you always spill the tea. Oh, I could hide it underneath my pillow. Whoops. I spilled the tea. Oh. So you guys are so gentle with me. <laughs> there we go. Savage. Well, now what? Simply too real. Uh, we got a gold star, babe. We got a gold star. This is my photograph. My childhood room. Look at this photograph. May 1997. Finally, my own room. Neat. 2004. 2004. <gasps> okay, so 97, 2004 is going to be seven years. My baby got it. Look at me doing math. She still got it. 
Look at me doing math. All right, do you want to organize this space, Bri? I mean, yeah, I could be down. Okay. Hey, Picaro Persona, welcome back for 13 months. Hey, Picaro, thanks for hanging out with us. And Hosuli, welcome back for 11 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you, and thank you for being awesome. And Vertical, welcome back for 13 months. I'm glad you love this game. Thank you again to everyone who recommended it. It is seriously chill. The chill is chill. It is. There's so much tea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You spilled so There's much tea. There's so Brian? much tea down here, you guys. It's like really. Okay, wait. Before you know, like we go a, into this next, I need a your costly opinion. Costly gag. Which do you choose? Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody, pick a tea. We have chamomile and lavender, herbal tea. We have mint mi medley. I got. That's a, chamomile. Uh, I got chamomile. The same and deal? And what's that? Oh, this is called Sweet Dreams Herbal Tea. Sleepy Time. Sleepy Time. Or we got Orange Spice, Orange Spice Tea, or Pomegranate Pizzazz. Pomegranate maybe? Pizzazz or Orange Spice. And we got Black Currant. Black Currant. Here, you hold the fruity ones. <laughs> We're not selling them. No, I, I want to get their, their opinion. Look. Look at Witch these teas. Tea. <laughs> you asked me to spill them, and now look what you get. Okay, the lavender, the orange yeah. spices. I mean, Dr. Pretty much Pepper tea. All of these teas are gonna get, <laughs> gonna get drunk. Okay. All these teas. Everyone has. There's not one of these teas got left no, out. No, no. Everybody likes at least one. And even some bonus teas. I the sleepy time. Which tea, one would you take? Right now? Yeah. No, just in general. I mean, I'm tempted to say Ooh. sleepy time and just well, sleep, dip. Sleepy time is <laughs> chamomile and mint. Uh, I would think I would take chamomile and lavender. I right now would go for orange and spice. Mm. Or I'd try the pomegranate pizzazz. Oh yeah, pomegranate pizzazz. That's kind of where I'm at, because I don't want to do sleepy time or I'll be, <laughs> I'll be right out. Hey, Chriso Games, welcome back for 10 months. Thank oh, you. and Lusomni, thank hey. you so much for the gifts <clears throat> of group hug. Lusomni, can we offer you a, a hug from inside this heart? <laughs> thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Hey, Holly says, what does Holly I say? graduated school today and it's Whoa. been really emotional and happy, but difficult, <clears throat> so I'm really glad to end it with with everyone here. Oh, thanks, Good Holly. Fun. Congratulations. Yeah, and I award you the blue star of diligence. You've put in some good work. Mm -hmm. Good work. Yeah, it's always an emotional thing. There's so much, you know, so much, so many different feelings when you finish something as big as graduating from school. Of like, yes, I did it. But then it's a, an end of the cha a chapter. It's you know, big change. Big change. Yeah. Big change. Yeah. Thank you all for hanging out with us. I'm gonna jump back into yeah. our college room. Take but us. before we do, mm. in the time of my life before I went away to college, I had some beloved objects that I stored away at my folks' place. And I'm curious mm. to ask the question, is there anything, if you've moved away from home, that you've left at home with uh, orders to some family member or something, you know, watch after this box, or, uh, you know, don't throw away these Pokemon cards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Is that what it was for you? For me, it was the Pokemon cards, and that's my very casual way to mention exclamation point Pokemon in the chat. <laughs> that's a new page of our website that I built 15 seconds before the stream started, which is an up-to-date list of the Pokemon that I'm currently looking for. And if you'd like to trade me, you can email me at emaildeckart at gmail.com with the Pokemon cards that you have and the Pokemon cards you're looking for and would like to have. These trade. are the Pokemon cards you're looking for. I haven't done all of the types, but I have done a good number of them and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Super Scree's incredible spreadsheet that helped make that possible. I have literally been looking at it for two and a half days straight. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Um, well, when I was younger, there, I had a cabinet in the corner of my room that had a glass, uh, a glass door, and in that cabinet, I kept all of these little knickknacks that I collected, or little little things that meant something to me, or someone had important had given to me. And uh, for many years, my my mom had had all of that stuff in in boxes. And I think like a year ago, she was like, "Okay, it's time for that to come and live with you." So I recently was reacquainted with all of my little my little things. It's a big deal, right? When they're like, yeah. "Here, this is yours." Uh -huh. well, I'm gonna need our pencils, yeah. but not on the corner. That'll not in be, the corner. That'll no. be knocked off too yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe over here. It's yeah, safe you can now. see it there. There you go. Wow, this is fun. Um, hey, crystallized <laughs> faith, welcome back for nine months. That's a Twitch baby. 
Raise it upright. Teach, Teach it, it to, to vote. vote. Voting Seriously. is super important. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like this artwork here. Do you think this is done by us? Yes. So we're an artiste. Oh, pig back. Pig back. Pig back. Mm, pig, 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 pig. Oh. Pillow pig. Top yeah. shelf pig. Maybe a top shelf pig. That's a, oh, yeah, he's like viewing. You know, yeah. he sees what's going on. <clears throat> is it a book or a calculator? I think it's a book. Okay. Oh. Oh, enhance. Ah. <gasps> Dehance. Whoa, you're in the bathroom. Oh, God. Oh, you have two spaces. Whoa. Oh, hey. Upgrade. And a kitchen. Hey. <gasps> oh, team. Nice. This is next level. We thought we were going to chill in this simple space, but no. No, we have more. Well, oh. I don't think the pig needs to go in there. The stuff pig in the bathroom doesn't make any sense. Stuff pig in the kitchen. Stuff pig of... in the kitchen is kind of no, grotesque. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, top shelf pig. Top shelf pig. What's that? Oh, a poster. What's it gonna be? <gasps> oh, Murmur. 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 My favorite band is Murmur. Right, we're gonna Murmur. cover this kind of yeah. that spot on the wall is not no not normal. Right? Cover we, cover it, that yeah. up. we have a couple spots on the wall actually. Toothbrush. toothbrush top shelf toothbrush. Doesn't make any sense. Bathroom. Bathroom. Can I go in there? Mm. Sink. Oh, that's a good place Sink for life. now. Yeah. Whoosh. Just you wait. I wish every time I went from room to room in my house, it was like, whoosh. 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 That's Theo going from room to room. Yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> hey, Pumpkin Tiger, welcome back. <gasps> 47 months? Whoa, Pumpkin Tiger, welcome back. Oh, G is to the G. Everyone, please say hello to your elders. <laughs> Pumpkin Tiger, thank you for being here. Yeah. You're founder of this place. Speaking of founding, who here used floppy disks? Anyone? Anyone? You know you're out there. <laughs> floppy I use, disks? I use floppy disks. <laughs> dot, and I dot, do it dot. again. <laughs> I do it again. You don't know what a floppy disk was. <laughs> I need to move several megabytes at a time. If we, if you wanted to take some files and move it onto another computer, you would put in a floppy Pop disk. Pop it in here, down here. And you would put the stuff on the floppy disk and yeah. Or a zip drive. Oh, I'll do one more. Why is a floppy disk? <laughs> Team, so much has changed digitally. I know. Like you can do, you can, Oh, these books here. Um, mouse. A mouse. We need that. Circle will rotate it. Oh, right. There's yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be madness. Mm -hmm. This would be madness. No, you can't. You can't, this, you can't this do would, that. This would only confuse. Yeah, you need this. This is peaceful. Yeah, yeah. I guess we could be left-handed. What's a zip drive? What's a zip drive? A zip drive is similar to a floppy disk, <clears> but <throat> more advanced. And, uh... But worse. It was like a... It was like a mini like fat it. hard drive. Yeah, it was mini like, fat. It was like a, a stack of floppy disks that was like uh, not quite a disk. It was it was what we had in between floppy disks and before we had CD burners at our own yeah. leisure. Mm -hmm. I love this game. This is the chillest this game. This is the chillest, yeah. This is... Oh, this book has a dinosaur on it. You like it. Is it a dinosaur? A horse or a dragon. Uh, a dragon. Look at that uh, dragon. Dragon books go up top. CD burners. Dragon books don't want to be below anything. Okay, what's a? Uh, I have another good question. <laughs> I have a good question. What Ooh, is drawing. something from your childhood that when you tell the young the younglings now about it, they're like, wait, what? What's <laughs> something that you have seen? I don't believe they really exist. Yeah, go um, in and out of style say that. Mouse pad? MP3, rotary phone, tomaga Tomagotchi, Pussycat dolls, DVDs with music on it, dial-up, VHS tapes, iPod, Blockbuster, CD Walker, a CD-Rama Walkman, <laughs> the rewind button, MP3s, cassette tapes, playing outside. Aww, too, too sad. <laughs> Hot topic. Yes. Oh, what about, what about, uh, what about, um, uh, Limited 2? Anybody else shopped at Limited 2 or the Limited? 
Ah. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Just, just getting tons of nostalgia yes. vibes. Yes! Fax machines! Fax machines! Yes! Did you know I you can actually, if, if you're ever in a situation where you need to send a fax, which I know is pretty rare, but you might be. There are apps for that. You can take a picture and fax a thing with an app. That's pretty cool. An encyclopedia. I used to love encyclopedias. That would be like this space at my grandma's house. I was like, oh, these books are awesome. They're All right. huge. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. Uh, I'm gonna tell a tale. When I was a youth, when I was young, and I would have uh, an essay due about something, my parents had a set of really old encyclopedias. And so I definitely didn't like exactly copy, but pretty close would copy certain things from the encyclopedia because I'd be like, no one will know this encyclopedia because it's so old. <laughs> Amelia, what? while you admit to plagiarism, the, it was confused, not like exact the confused waffle right? would like to you to stop admitting to plagiarism, plead it the fifth, like and say, babe, babe, I'm trying to, excuse me for interrupting you. <laughs> My wife. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Thank you, Confused Waffle, confused for 50 gifted waffle. subs. Thank my you, gosh. Amelia. <laughs> Wait, where are my ponies? Just a moment, Wait. team. <laughs> Just a moment. We'll yes. Be right with you. Okay, Waffle, <laughs> I will honor you with my little ponies because they're making a world a better place just like you. <laughs> uh, the Confused Waffle, thank you for your thank sweet you. support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna say thank you 50 times and see if I can do it really fast. All right, ready? Thank you, 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 that was weird. That was. We don't have to do Did that again. you say thank you so many times, it, it's us. Uh, Did it sound like any words at the end? It just sounded like nonsense, right? <laughs> thank you. Wow. Uh, Confused Waffle, that is incredible. Thank you for your support. And if you got one of those gifted subs from Confused Waffle, we have one shoe. Should we put the other one by it? That's madness. Oh, yeah. Do it in, like, third position or, or like, fifth position. <sighs> yes. There we go. Um... Please be sure to thank Confused Waffle, and if you got a gifted sub and you'd like to check out the starter kit, we made this little button also on the website near the Pokemon list uh, <laughs> that'll show you the way around the channel. Hey, Granthoff Tarkin, welcome back for nine months. Welcome back, Granthoff. That's a Twitch baby for you. Raise it upright. Teacher Teach to, to vote. vote. Voting is super important. You'll hear me say it every day. My bra. Where do I put my bra? Is this a bra? Yep, that's a bra. That's a brassiere. And a drawer. A drawer would be good. Keep it there. Oh, there's also a dresser over there. You could put stuff into that eventually. Oh, can I move this whole box? Yeah. Maybe I just put the stuff on the bed that goes in the dresser. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can put that wherever you want. It's your room. All right. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chibi Prussia, thank you so much for cheering with Plinkety. Oh. Have a good day at work. You guys, look, fellow mammals, we've got this uh, iPod, iPod, but it's not an iPod, see? It's an X-Pod. It's a Don't Sue Me, it's an X-Pod. It's an MP3 player. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember MP3 players. Remember Zunes? Team, do you want to talk about Zunes? I do. Zunes were arguably way better than iPods as far as what they could store and what they could do, but the marketing power of Apple was so intense that people were like, I'm not touching it. I don't want to be seen with a Zune. And Zunes were way better. I'm just saying, the same thing happened to Blackberries and some weird vibes, you know? Oh, I thought you meant like the actual Blackberry fruit. No, uh, Blackberry fruit uh, are enjoyable at all times. Yeah, I remember flip phones and playing like Snake on my flip phone because that was the only game I had. I always gotta line, line those up. Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Ooh, three miles home out here. Out here. I like your posters. We got good style. Re3 Ooh, yes. and Captain Browncoat, thank you so much for cheering. Hey, thank you, Re3. And Elijah Bear, welcome back for 33 months. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Elijah hey. Bear. Big video game nerd, how you doing? Big video game music nerd is back for 48 months. months. That's four years. Wow. Aww. 
Yo, uh, yo, big video game music nerd. What do we, what do we do? We got to make a new shape. We, we, we've used all the, the colors of our heart badges. What should we do for our four year and beyond? Oh, this cat's cute. I don't know. I have to figure it out. Lestat, welcome back for nine months. There's so many Twitch babies. Raise it up right. Teach it to vote. Voting is important. Our eraser is still in the game. That's good. Our desk is a little crowded. Can you hang up? Uh, can you hang up any of your clothes on the I hangers? I will. Oh. I'm just getting all my clothes out. Yeah. First, see what I have. This is how I unpack. I need to see this stuff. Oh, this is. I have one of these, you guys. Um, well, I'm trying to do away with you guys. Uh, team mammals, my fellow mammals. Um, I have one of these things that's like a file folder mm -hmm. and in it is only things that I'm confident I don't really need, but I can't throw them away because they've been in there so long. Yeah. What's with that? I don't know. Does anybody have a bunch of paper things that they're like, pretty sure I don't need the receipts from 19 years ago, but- But maybe you, I But do. maybe I will. What's that? It's like a uh, underwear or something. Uh, Little bundles. Little bundles. Little adorable bundles. Hey, Primars. <laughs> They're erasers. <laughs> Primars, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome. Toaster. Had the toaster in there. I like to put the appliances so that it covers up the uh, outlets. How do you guys feel about that? How do you guys see? There it is again. Colloquialisms. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like I like to position stuff so you can kind of cover up the plugs on the wall. Yeah. Simplify it visually. Mm-hmm. Whoa, phone bills from 40 years ago at your grandfather's spot? That's, wow. I mean, that is dedicated record keeping. Look at these sweet little bundles. Nice little bundles. Ah, oh, the Rubik's Cube's still in the game. I like this cat knows how to do the Rubik's Cube, no problem. Mm-hmm. Pants? Pants. Stack of pants. I stack my pants. I used to have this complicated hanger that had, whoop, uh, I'm trying to rotate. The, um, you know, it was like a, a bunch of hangers on top of each other. So you like hang a pair of pants here and then you hang a pair of pants mm. here and you hang a pair of pants here. But the problem is they were all khakis and I don't wear khakis. Yeah. <laughs> but I was keeping them well organized for like years. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's sweet. Dance. Just you, dance. You got any dance? Uh, guys is gender neutral. I, 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 I agree and I mean it that way, but uh, just, you know, I, I think there's other more fun things to use. Um, I'm going to... Hang it? No, I'm gonna turn on the emotes because I feel like emotes go perfect with this game's aesthetic. So yeah. if anybody feels like spamming the dance emote, go for it. Ooh. Oh, these guys are cool. Oh yeah, that's it's a It's like a little one. gallery wall vibe. Mm-hmm. We've been thinking about doing some kind of a gallery wall thing, but it's intimidating to put that many frames up in. Piglet. 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 Uh, well, this is, listen. Got some serious coin in that piggy bank. <laughs> we should keep it up here so it's safe. Yeah. Well, no, because if we put it up here, it could fall on our heads and hurt our- You could put it under there, or you could put it hidden. Yeah, we'll corner. put it here. Yeah, right there. Perfect, and then <laughs> no one will ever find it because it's just off frame. Mm. Uh, cool shirts. shirts. Very that... cool shirts. Here, can I? It's like fish. Fish. Uh, koi fish. Look at all those beautiful emotes here. Mm -hmm. Hey, Foxy, <laughs> welcome back for 46 months. Whoa. And Omni Queer and Plinkety, thank you so much for cheering. Hang it out. Zip. Box gone. I'm glad to see these action figures are still on the scene. I, I definitely got more selective with what action figures got to come each time I moved to a new spot. Or oh, still playing soccer. That's good. That's good. I would put the soccer ball under here because I would totally oh on the on the seat. But then you might kick your uh, your lap your computer. Yeah, that's true. But I totally if I had a, a soccer ball in my room, it would be underneath, and I'd just be like rolling mm -hmm. on it all the time. Pre H, welcome back for nine months as well. Twitch baby for you too. Welcome back. Raise it up right and teach, teach it, it to vote. vote. Omni, thank you for being here for 10 months. Welcome back, Omni. 
And Mooney Barton is here for 16. What do you think of this shirt? With you wanna... Sej Swim, 16 months as well. Welcome back, Sej Swim. Sweet 16. What do you think of this Meow shirt? I feel like you'd wear it's that shirt. It's my favorite, yeah. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'm just stacking them all up for just now. Just so make sense. Nice. Can I turn on the radio? Oh, that's a photo. Mm. Um, can I turn on the radio? Oh, yeah. Oh, Sweet yeah. Sweet jacket. Always hang my jackets up. Mm -hmm. Jackets always go towards the side, in my opinion. Yeah. Because they're sturdier, you know? They can handle it. Hey, Casper Blue, welcome back for 45 months. And Hollymon, welcome back for nine. Twitch, baby. Raise it up right. Teach it to vote. What time is it anyway? It's 9.41. 9.41, perfect. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, is that a strawberry or a... Is that a frog? I think it's a frogberry. Frog with a frog heart? Frog with a heart or a strawberry? Oh, that you know? might be one of my favorites now. So who sorts their shirts by color? Does anyone sort your clothes by a certain... Oh, the little red bus! It's still in the game. Oh, Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower, we must have gone on a trip. Maybe we put that in the kitchen or something? Or on yeah, the window yeah, 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 that could be good. Mm, uh, it's not a spice. No, no. We could put it on the windowsill. Yeah, windowsill's good. Well, but then when we put the blinds down, you know, that's always a pain. The blinds go down? No blinds down. <sighs> Alright. Very chill. So chill, yeah. The music was a little, um, not my mood exactly right just yet. I like silence. <laughs> it's true, she does like silence. We have the ability to play music in our home, but it's usually we don't play a lot of music. No, except if we're Unless in, like, it's... deep cleaning mode or something. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get some stuff Or we done. need to, like, get some vibes out. What about, what about you? Are you someone who always wants to have music? Do you like to just have moments of silence or times of silence? Or are you somewhere in between? What's your, uh, do you have TV on? Constant music, moments of peace. Always music, always music, constant music. You love silence. Always have some kind of noise on, background noise, quiet. Silence. Music will definitely help me get some stuff done, though. You know, like mm -hmm. I need to. If I need to get a lot of things done, I'm gonna podcasts. Listen to music. All right, so I feel like it's a good split. Maybe a few more people who like to have music on or something. Ambient noise, like rain or thunder. Hey, Ooh. look at you! Yeah, so I'm all just your stuff. I'm just gonna sort up our our clothes and then okay. um, maybe you, you could put some maybe shoes in there if you wanted. Or there's oh, only that's one a good shoe. Idea. What happened to the other one? It must be in the other box. I think I packed the... I tried to spread out the boots so I didn't get too heavy when we carried the boxes. Lisbon! Lisbon! Hey, How Lisbon. you doing? Thank you so much. Can you give me a big hug, friend? Lisbon! Appreciate you hanging out with us. <laughs> Thank you for chilling. Thank you. Thank you all for recommending this very, very chill mm -hmm. game. Um, I'm going to finish up this room and then we'll take a, a quick five-minute break. Yes. But... Damon Hex. Is Damon back for Hex. 37 months. Welcome back, Damon Hex. Well, welcome back to possibly one of the most relaxing and zen games out there. We yeah. hope that you have a great stream uh, with us or <laughs> by yourself or doing whatever you do. But just know we appreciate you, Damon, and we send you good vibes. Good vibes. <laughs> uh, I have to put away all our copious amounts of um, bundles, underwear, under bundles. Under bundles. Well, I have to say, the way that these are organized is next level. All right, does anyone think they keep their under bundles more organized than we? Less organized? Mine is just kind of like a... Like, oh, no, I'm talking about in this game. Oh. I mean, in real life, they're just kind of all in the top drawer, you know, who cares? But this is, like, thoughtful. These have Very. bows on them, and they're all lined up perfect. Yeah. Almost a little too perfect, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. Because what am I doing making them exactly 
Look at this. They don't have days of the week on them, though. No, that's good. I definitely, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Moogie Blue, how you doing? Thank you so much for cheering. Happy time zone to you and happy weekend. Appreciate you being here with us, Moogie Blue. Katie704 is back for 34 months. Wow. Oh, some are socks and some are underwear. They, um... I'm being, it's yeah. okay. Well, we're going to put them all together. I mean, I think that it's kind of like, um, you know, like when you have a nice meal, you don't want, uh, you know, like some of the flavors complement each other and some of the foods are their own kind of thing. But I consider socks, underwear and like basic T-shirts just kind of go in a drawer. Like yeah, they can like they can be like wherever. a chaos drawer. Team, I got too many socks. If we want to, if we want to get real about it, I gotta. Oh, in the game or in no, real life? in real life. You do. Have you know this stuff. is true. I don't have a dresser. I have a thing that stores socks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jax, welcome back for forty-eight months. Welcome back, Jax. Welcome back. Sorry, I just. There you go. I gotta have. Order. I've just been sorting Pokemon too long to not do it this way. Oh wait, this is, what is this yellow one's throwing off my whole pattern. <laughs> yellow always goes, I always put the yellow in the lower left corner. How about that? That's pretty good. But then this is, doesn't make sense. This has got to go here. Don't worry team, we're going to hack the mainframe in no time. I like your color coordination. There we go. Let's zoom in on that. It makes a little more sense. Tell me of sin says you could never have too many socks. You can, I, I do, <laughs> um, because it's a burden. Um, it's a burden because the drawer, when you close it, it kind of it kind of goes no, mm -hmm. and it just like ever like like a third of an inch just goes back out because it's got too many socks on it. Mm. It's an actual, it's an actual over. Wait, you over have cover you bit. have either socks or oh thank or you. little things on your. I don't want anyone to take a photo like desk. this. No, no, no. Got our little bundle in yeah, there. Put the bundle in. It's not right. No. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. Um, Scree, if you need to figure out which to do for the thumbnail, it's probably this moment. Ready? Make your uh, make your YouTuber uh, thumbnail face. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Whew. Glad that's done. That was rough. I'm oh, Devo. I like that just you put a whole bunch of dot, dot, dots, and I just, I, it's like, <sighs> I, know, I just know you. You can sense the Debo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put this stuff away and get to uh, chilling. You want you can you should do the kitchen and the bathroom. I think. Really? I mean, if you want, I mean, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Organize. Or we can take turn take turns every room. Um. Hey, CJ Hawkins, welcome back for 43 months. Ooh, welcome back. This is one of your favorite games, and it's so fun playing with us. Well, I'm so glad. It's the chillest. This is, this might, okay. Is chiller this than chiller than Stardew? Might be, might be. Um, There's really, like, no stakes. You know what it is? It's that I don't have to worry about falling asleep before two. Yeah, no one's gonna, no one's gonna steal your stuff. Why are we putting t-shirts with pajamas? Why not? Because they're the same color. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. when, when I need to figure out what to wear, I'm never thinking about... All right, can I tell them about the, the blue man and the blue world? Yes. That makes sense. Team, I'm going to admit something to you, and only because some of you I've known for over four years. And well, we've admitted a lot of things today. Those of you who are here for the very first time, you're going to know. Um, yeah. You're going to know. You're going to know. Um, it happens sometimes that I go to leave our place into the real world and um, Amelia will stop me from going into the world by singing a different song. Sometimes the song is, he is a blue man in a blue world. Blue is the color of all that he wears. And I'll realize that I'm wearing head to toe blue. Or she'll sing, he, he is a green, green man, man in, in a green, green world. world. Green is the color of all that he wears. And then I look down and I realize I'm only wearing green head to toe. Sometimes it's the same shade of green. So he looks like a beanpole. One time I looked like the Jolly Green Giant. And uh, I tried to contest Amelia's point of view by saying, Logan, who was at our place. Yeah. 
can I go out wearing this? And Logan is a fashionable guy, so I respect his opinion. Mm -hmm. And quickly he said unto me, no, <laughs> you must change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I've learned that it's okay to have the same color on top and bottom as long as it's not exactly the same. And as long as you have some visual differentiation between the two colors, otherwise it looks like you're wearing like a, like a kind of a like prison a, uniform but a of, onesie. of your favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Half of my wardrobe is blue and the other half is green. And here I am. I don't know if this is blue or green. Debate amongst yourselves. <laughs> Dame says that I'm there to stop you from committing crimes of fashion. <laughs> crimes of fashion. <laughs> of fashion. Yes. Well, thank you for, uh, for listening, you know. Hey, listen. Uh, I like how you've hid the little piggy bank. Too. Yeah, his is right there. Um, I'm gonna take a photo. Oh, what is a that sticker. a sticker? Put a sticker on it. Put a sticker on it. It's a very large sticker. All right. Take it. Take the photo. Well, I don't know about this. I want to photo it. Take a photograph. Do I just do it in normal screenshot mode? There we go. Perfect. So Amelia, uh, would you like to take over and do the more uh, unpacking when we come back? Okay. Oh, we can turn on the PC. All right, well, we better turn on the PC real quick. You gotta turn the big one on Oh first. my oh, gosh. Oh, cool, yeah. Oh, back in the days. Oh, shouldn't move Be it careful. like that. careful, there's a button. Is it working? <laughs> no, it's the sticker that says Intel Pentium processor. Mm. Isn't it? That's got to be the sticker that says Intel. Pentium processor. Zoom in. <laughs> Circle to zoom or to, to interact. Come on. Give me it. We're gaming now, team. Maybe we have to finish all of the stuff before we can... We turned on the radio. Oh, we did, yeah. Well, I need five minutes of a hydration break, so we're going to pro game. Pro gamers! We're missing the keyboard. Oh, it must be in another room. Oh, uh, we're going to have to get the keyboard still. Mm-hmm. All right. It, yes, it is. You can put that in a drawer. My, my journal? Yeah. I like that my journal... I always keep my journal nearby so that I use it. Okay. Because otherwise... Here, I'll put this in the drawer. Yeah, that's better. It's a little more feng shui. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the Game Boy can go in the drawer, too, mm -hmm. while we're at it. So, team, we're going to take five minutes as we do each hour um, to get ourselves a hydration break and a little bit of a snack. If you'd like to, uh, you know, do whatever you got to do for five minutes, and we'll be right back. Cool. We're going to pause it like... Yes. I don't really need to no pause. No need to pause because... It's too it's chill. It's so chill. <laughs> Thank you all for being here with us. Uh, super appreciate it. Amelia and I are stoked to be playing a little unpacking with you today and likely tomorrow, or I'm sorry, next uh, Friday, I mean, next week. Um, and tomorrow we're playing The Quarry, which is the exact opposite of this game. A mm -hmm. fun branching narrative horror game, very ooky spooky. And uh, Sunday, it's Red Dead Redemption 2, beginning a brand new campaign with those main story quests and Stardew Valley chills us out on Tuesdays. All right, team, we'll be back in five minutes. Be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for being here with the chill vibes. And I saw some of you saying that you were enjoying those tunes uh, oh. during the hydration break. That's by our buddy Lo, the music man. If you like what you hear during the start of our streams or the breaks, check him out. Yeah. He's on uh, Twitch with his awesome community, making music a lot. Yeah, had some red vines, mm -hmm. you know. Gotta, gotta have some mm, sweets. Gotta have a little sugar kick. Uh -huh. Cinema roll. Hey, welcome, welcome back. back for 30 months. You just played this game. Well, I agree. So nice it's and so chill. It's it is just what I needed. I needed. I it. needed this game to chill. Nice and peaceful. Yes. So this is our room in 2003. It's not quite finished yet. Got to move on to the bathroom. To the banyo. Got a towel. Hang Perse it up. Persephone 18. Welcome back for 24 months, hey. 2 years. <laughs> Welcome back, Persephone. Thank you, thank you. Great to see you. Some soap? Makes me happy to see your name. Thank you for being here with us. Oh, uh, mug, 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 mug. Mug in the mug. kitchen. Uh. Mug could go 
here, and then we take this, uh. and we take this, and we uh. go. Da boom! Oh, that's clever. Yeah. That'll work. Uh -huh. And then we go this here. Put it in front of the outlet. Yeah. Perfect feng shui. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, deodorant. Can we put you in here? Thank you, Persephone. I appreciate you. No. Is it a puzzle game? It's a it's a nice game. Um, very chill. Um, deodorant down low. I mean, can we go I behind don't... the mirror? We can't. We can't. It's oh. unfortunate. But it's just it's too crowded if we have stuff here. So I, I think I'm gonna just put. Yeah. yeah open oh, this there up. we go. That's nice. Yeah. Looks like some perfume or maybe nail polish. Hair uh, perfume, I think. Yeah, perfume. I think, should we put? I'm gonna. Do we put the brush down here? It feels wrong and bad. Yeah, but you don't but want it on the back is, of the toilet this seat. This is no, no. Okay, wrong, wrong and bad, but better than it could be. Some shampoo. Jemu, Jemu, thank you, thank you. A oh, first aid kit. We're gonna put that back here. Sending you good vibes. Yeah, hey. Tiger, Tiger Crail, feel free. Any, any tips are welcome. This mm -hmm. game is just nice and easy. Yeah, yeah. It is the chillest vibe. Okay. Bras, bra drawer, top drawer, always do. Perfect. Yeah. I see. You you all put those two white bras next to each other. I do. Move that tan bra. <gasps> Yeah. Oh, look at this. We'd be puzzling, team. We're puzzling well. Yes. All right. Tiger Krell suggests we can try to open the mirror and see if we can. Uh... We might not be able to open it in this level, I've heard. No, no dice. Maybe when we move to another place, huh? Yeah, no fun color bras, huh? What's going on with that? Tampons. Tampons? Tampon, you go. Tampoffs. Over there. Jemu, Jemu. Thank you for the cheer. Oh, no worries, Tiger Krill. I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna have another place which uh, has a more covered uh, space. Uh, right, we can put this on the back of the toilet. It's good. I think it's uh, good hosting to put an extra roll of TP if you have people over, so that so that anyone who uh, you know might might be like, oh no, there's no more TP. There's just something there for them. Got they don't have so to much toilet have, paper. They don't have to have that chat with you about... I'm going to put this here. No, people will say about why do they have toilet paper there? But we have no room in here. Stack it. Stacks on stacks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're going to... We could do uh, maybe like a... Once we get the box out of the way, maybe we'll have some more room. Oh. Ah. Pretty. Pretty purple towel. How are we enjoying this game? Um, new favorite game of all time. All other games pale by comparison to how chill I feel right, right now. We got some pads here. There all you right, go. I'm gonna make this a little bit more organized. I'm gonna just put you. I'm gonna put you here. Yeah, I go. feel like also like if you're living on your own, it's, it's it's more like you can just have some stuff out. I feel like this can maybe go over here or something. Spray delay and walk away. Yeah, spray delay and, and walk away, or or right here. Um, I don't know. I think unless it was right here in the middle. Yeah, if the perfume was in a opaque uh, glass, I don't think you want it in direct sunlight. You, I think you oh, want to preserve your. You're you're correct. Your fumé. All right, I'm gonna put it there for now. And then you, brush. It's good I, to have a first aid kit. I can't even. But the first aid kit could maybe go in the kitchen. Good. But uh, our first aid kit's in the bathroom. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh. Where do you keep your first aid kit, team? And if you don't have one, maybe this is me suggesting you get some band-aids. Okay? Get some band-aids just in case. Close proximity. Hey! An anxious Kate. Welcome back for 19 months. In the kitchen, closet and hallway, bathroom, in the gym bag. There you go. Mm. Hey, I have it with you out in the world a little bit. Uh, kitchen yeah. cabinet. Bathroom. <laughs> no, we got the toaster in the kitchen for now. Seemed like the best spot for it. I remember when I was in a dorm room, I had uh, a little uh, rice cooker in my dorm room, and I pretty much it was like my only way. I made ramen for myself, boiled ramen. Shug? Anybody got anybody got a little ramen cooker, a little water boiler? Shug. Is this That's cookies. Yeah, you want that accessible at all times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, 
job. Take care, Kelder. The trash can is very skinny in the bathroom. Lisbon asked, do we have specific things that we liked about New York City? Yes, I love the momentum of New York City. I like the uh, energy that comes just from stepping outside your front door. You feel a little bit like you're being swept away on an assembly line, which mm. uh, can be good and bad. Um, sometimes it's really awesome, and other times it's, feel free to move, whatever. Um, you know. Uh, I never really drove in New York City, so I liked public transportation, I think is very valuable. Could be improved, of course, but as a concept, it's great. You don't have that in uh, Los Angeles in the no. same way. This sort of whole city is very connected. What about you? What do you love about New York? Um, what I loved about New York was the energy in the in the streets in and, and walking through the different neighborhoods there were so many different vibes and energies um and it's so walkable um you could just i would spend just days or hours and hours just walking around and um it was yeah it was just yeah, you gotta say hours because like you would walk all day is one thing but saying you would spend days walking around new york city like that's a whole other vibe yeah you know one time I was walking, uh, and I'll admit, uh, late at night coming home on the subway, uh, and uh, was stepping and a rat ran and hit one foot, and then I took another step and then the rat ran and ran into the other foot, and another time, the third, three times this rat touched my feet, each alternating step, and um, that's how I feel about Alphabet City, I guess. If you know, you know, and... Uh, ah, the boot! The boot! Das boot! <laughs> yeah, the poor rat was very uh, startled by me, I'm sure, but I have him. That's fine. Oh, very excited to play more Quarry tomorrow. That game is uh, very well done so far. I really am enjoying the animations and the characters and the, What's the, this? the way it all works. It looks like a bike lock. Oh, it's a peeler. Is that a vegetable peeler? What's that? Rats are cute. Amelia used to have a pet rat. I did! Named Funky Lee. Potato pillar. Persephone, thank you for the gift sub to GCAT01 Gaming, who is back for 46 months. Yes! Welcome back! I can't stack uh, you. Thank you very much, Kai, for that uh, message about the quarry. Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll have to play the whole game through all the way, all the way through one go before we can replay any of the scenes. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's just fine for for us. I think uh, we will play that game again. Uh, that that game is already in my mind. Seems could have another playthrough, and we're only just begun. Not actually, Tesco's. How's it going? How many pockets are we wearing right now? Not actually Tesco. I can confirm that I think Amelia has zero pockets. Actually, I have. <gasps> I got two pockets. I'm completely surprised that there are pockets on these leggings. Mm -hmm. I have one pocket here. Uh, and one, two, two on the sides. Oh. Third zipper pocket. Oh, I could put this on top. I got a zipper pocket. These these shirts feel a little bit more like a swimsuit. They're kind of, um, you know, like, yeah, zippers on them. What's going on? Thank you for even asking. <laughs> thank you for even asking how many pockets I have. Um, there's only one pocket on the back, two on the side, and then the surprise pocket. So we got four on the pants and one on the shirt. That's five for me. And Amelia's got two. Mm. Um, and very interesting to see Important everybody questions. else in, in the chat. I really hope that not actually Tesco is a fashion designer or something, and this is top secret research project. You know, they're making the perfect outfit and discovering how many pockets it should have. What do I do with all? Deepa, of what you got? How'd you get a fake pocket, dude? You got ripped off on that po extra pocket. It's sewn up. A pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this fake pocket shall be known as the pocket. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and nothing else. While we're on the subject, a, a focket, you heard her say, 
or a faux kit. A faux kit is a little classier, tell me of sin. Interesting that you would be the one to make it so <laughs> kind. Uh, faux kit, yes, a faux kit. Faux kit? A faux kit. I think I'm going to put the cookie jar up here yeah. so that it doesn't tempt us too much. Nice. But it's still seen. Oh! A letter, a cookie! Oh, you did the, You did it. Uh, you got a, You got an upgrade. I got to put the cookie up top so that we don't eat it all at once. Up top. Up town. Thank you, what? Um, while we're on the subject of pockets real quick, mm -hmm. um, my uh, sister has a, a, a saying that I really like uh, where she'll go, just chuck in the fuck it bucket. <laughs> and I think that's really good. Sometimes you might just need to think about something. It doesn't have to be for forever, but, you know, for today, just maybe just chuck it in the fucking bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. She's a genius. You know what? I need to organize you a little bit better. I'm going to put you in the top drawer and uh, just rearrange all this stuff. But first... Here's, here's a question. Do you, you all sort your, uh, your silverware, or is there someone out there who's absolute mad lad in it just with a mixed... Mixed drawer of utensils. Does anyone here want to cop to the fact that spoons and forks and knives live together in one, or are they all sorted? Oh. Sorted, sorted, mixed drawer. Lisbon's living the mixed drawer life. EK800 Cyber Life. Hey, hello. My friend, can Thank we offer you, you a so hug? Much. If you'd like a hug, we send one your way. Aww, thank you for thank hanging out. Thank you. Thank you for the good vibes, Thank you friends. so much. That's very kind of you, EK800. Appreciate you being here. So EK800 might have been a model even before the RK800, huh? Could be. Could be. Who knows? No raid. Only just out of reach. Down the block on a beach. Where do I put this? I'll put it there for now. What's this? Bug spray, huh? Has anybody got some bugs in their kitchen? It's getting hot, and when it gets warm, summertime. Friends, what do you think this is? That looks like a panini press, or a quesadilla maker, or a waffle maker, or some sort of a thing. In the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> a grill, a waffle, a scale? I don't know, but you're it's going an apparatus. There. Does anyone think they have the most unusual apparatus in their kitchen? That can only do one very specific thing, like, um, you know, uh, popcorn popper, for instance, is a fun thing, but it only has very, very specific use. What are you do with that cutting board, babe? I don't know. I'm going to put it there for now. That's madness. This is going to go up here for the leader. That's okay. A yogurt maker, panini press. Oh, mortar and, mortar and pestle is really beautiful for herbs, huh? The tin can opener. Waffle maker's pretty customized. Yup, yup, yup. Salad dryer spinning thing. A milk frother. We had a, um, like a egg beater that looks like real crazy. It looks like a big spring and it spins in a fun way. A boiled egg maker. We got an egg timer that looks like an egg that you're supposed to put in with the eggs and it measures it, but I don't think you should be cooking your egg alongside a piece of plastic. I don't know. Grandma sent it to me, and who knows? Hot dog toaster? What? What is this? Oh, trash bags. The whole thing's just for hot dog toasting? Tesco, that's... How, what does it look like? Oh, there's so much stuff. Teriyaki pan. You got a lot of good stuff. You know, that's kind of the, the puzzle is making it all fit. I know. Homey. Oh, an apple cutter. That's fun with the spinning wheel. Or is it the one that pushes down and makes us the wedge? Like the apple peeler, I guess, spins them. All right, so this is done. Yeah, I know, I gotta put it away. Sausage roll maker. Oh, there you go. Very cool. We got a lot of chefs here. Oh, they just put the knife right there on the floor? Yeah, yeah, just don't step on it. Hashtag mind blown. <laughs> Um, not actually, Tesco says, lovely to hear, thank you so much. Uh, as it happens, I am collecting a bunch of clothing info in relation to clothing design, and thank you and everyone in chat for legitimately helping me a bunch. As for the silverware, uh, I sort out uh, the, knives, the knives, the forks, and the spoons. Yeah, All me right. Me too. Uh-huh. It's an amalgamate for the rest. We've been watching Iron Chef, team. Yeah. And Lots I will say unto you in the words of my uncle, 
What does he say? Ole cuisine! Ole cuisine! <laughs> but he says it really Very intensely. intensely. Ole cuisine! <laughs> <laughs> A bread machine and an ice maker? Ice cream maker. Cool. <laughs> Well, not actually, Tesco. If you have any more uh, clothing queries you'd like to pull the group with, that was a that was a good question. I think you need. It. I think I, I like to have at least two pockets. I think if I'm going out with less than two pockets, I am. I'm I'm going empty-handed. You know. All right, I'm gonna put this up here. Yeah, that'd be okay. This... You only gotta get the. You know what I really like to do. What? <laughs> and by really like to do, this might make me sound like a pretty boring person. I like to put spare garbage bags in the bottom of the garbage can. Yeah, I was gonna try and do that, but it didn't allow it. Uh. It didn't allow it. Maybe I can turn this around so that it's, you don't know. No. Nah. All right, what if I hid you? Cause you're a little abrasive. <laughs> do you know what I like to do? Sometimes when I'm feeling down, I'll go take out the garbage <laughs> and then in the bottom of the garbage can, I'll put an extra garbage bag. <laughs> That's what I like to do. There we go. <laughs> Good job. GG team. You did it. GG. Uh, I have to cook for myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bingus. Bingus. 1997 to 2004. Beautiful. What was the first meal that you learned to cook for yourself? I mean, I'm going to say mom was obviously like pasta and ramen. Um, I mean, definitely eggs, I think. Um, I do remember like the first meal that I was like oh, set. 2007. Ooh, a lot of upgrades. Um, look at this. Look at this yeah. life. Um, the first meal that I set out to make that was like a... A, a journey was ratatouille and my mom gave me the recipe because she used to make that a lot when I was growing up. That was the first thing you learned to cook? Yeah, well, I mean, of the, like, you know... A, the, a, you're going for a full recipe. Yeah, of yeah. going, like, the, the, the first, like, I'm going for it was ratatouille. Yes. I'm going to say, like, a quesadilla, you know, nachos, no, sprinkle I mean, some cheese on it, and you're done. I think it was, like, scrambled eggs or an omelet, but otherwise, uh, ratatouille. Nice. We've got a lot more space here. Okay, so this is the living room. Yeah, so are these all of our things, or are we moving in with a roommate could be? I don't know. Like, did we take up being a seamstress all of a sudden? This is a very elaborate setup here with the mannequin. I don't think that this is ours because we can't interact with it at That's all. That's what I mean. I think we're moving so, in with a roommate. Yeah, I think you're right that and we And a have... cool roommate who's got minis, mm -hmm. action figures. This is definitely a good friend. You got a D&D &D setup well, on the table. This is our own room. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks kind of dormy, so maybe we've we're a dorm but sharing with I don't Whoa. know. This is no, not really. This a could dorm. be like first apartment. Yeah. Room 2007 now. So how many years have passed since the last scene? Last scene was 2004. So 3 years later. All right. So Same maybe room. maybe this is like you know, we're just about to uh All right, let's start in here. You know, like, just about to graduate. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Oh, hey, I'm your new roommate. I hope you don't mind I store my books like this. <laughs> I mean, we could also put that in our room. Like, we have... We got a lot got of a stuff lot of to space. Un unpack. You so know? let's... Maybe I start in my room. Not a bad idea. I, oh, no, do you want to do this? Wanna... You can do this and then we'll shuffle. You, okay. you did the bedroom this time and then I'll do the kitchen. Um, the monitor is much thinner now. Oh, Ni yeah. Nikiro, welcome back for 17 months, my friend. Oh, it's wonderful to be alive at the same time as you. <laughs> thank you, Aww. thank you. Uh, uh, Nik Nikiro sends love to everyone in this beautiful community. Appreciate you being here 17 months, my friend. Thank you, thank you. What is this? Uh, oh. oh, a note, a uh, sketch. A little sketch. K Beast, welcome back for 17 months. And I'm, uh, my friends, I keep going to reach for the mouse over on Amelia's side and I'm just holding this, My Little Pony. <laughs> My Little Pony. You can't, you can't, pony. you can't adjust the computer screen with a My Little Pony. 
An anonymous gifter is gifting five subs. Hey! Anonymous, anonymous and thank you so much. Wait, they've done it twice. There's 10 subs, anonymous what? gifter. Can we hug you? If you'd like a hug, we offer you a hug. Thank you. And if you, you don't want a hug, don't worry about it. Just take it easy. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Uh, that's very kind of you, anonymous gifter. If you got thank one of those you. gifted subs, be sure to thank out anyone. Just say thank you. Thank you. To whomever you may be, you benevolent, kind soul. Thank you, thank you. It's very sweet Aww. of you. Thank you, friend. Fox's kitty is giving them cuddles right Aww. now. Lucky you. That's a good sign. Yes. All right, we got our art supplies still. Loved by a kitty. Ooh, we have more space in here. Hey. Whoa, EK800 Cyberlife. EK800, check this out. Thank you. I'm gonna free a butterfly just for you. <laughs> EK800 Cyberlife, thank you very much. Oh, thank you, thank you. Can we offer you a hug, friend? Thank you for being here with us. Big hug, everybody. And if you got a gifted sub from EK, please be sure to thank them. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out. My little pony, my little pony. What's this? Uh, more art supplies. Ooh, markers. All right, team. If you were going to choose to do a piece with either, and of course you could combine them, but in this example, no. Colored pencils or colored markers. Which is your, your tool? Pencils. You choose pencils. Yeah, because you could do a gradient. Ah. See, I would choose the markers. I go for markers. I, I just... I like the way it's smooth, you know, and... Smooth operator. <laughs> the eraser. The eraser's still in the game, team. 2007, we still had erasers back then. And the pencil. Markers are fun. You gotta be committed. Mm-hmm. Um, pencils you gotta sharpen. Oh, words of wisdom. Here we Ooh, go. Ooh, paint is good. How about this? All right, let's do another poll between paint and pastels. Or I guess, is pastels... Yeah, it's like charcoal, right? Yeah. Colored. Paint. Is that what it's called? Pastels? Pastels or watercolors? Pastels or paint, yeah. Let's call it uh, oil paint, acrylic paint, watercolor paint, whatever you want. I would say paint for me. Or you can choose pastels and or charcoal. Or chalk. I like chalk. Chalk is a good, good medium. Mm -hmm. So many journals. Still rocking the same alarm clock. I had an alarm clock as a kid that the sound it made... Well, not as a kid. In high school, I guess. So a kid. Uh, the sound that it made was a rooster crowing, and my family hated it. Oh, that's rude. They hated it so much. That's, that's bad. It was bad. Actually, if I could go back in time and change one thing that I would be fairly certain couldn't possibly implode the world and butterfly effect everything to be more terrible, <laughs> I would go back in time and never use... The rooster alarm. Yeah. I mean, I kind of also feel like all alarms suck. What's your yeah. alarm sound like, team? Do you have like a, a bell? A dinging kind of a sound? I like a chime, but if it's not enough to wake you up, it's no good. I like the ones that are like... Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding. Oh, D&D die. <laughs> Here we go. Or D20. Your mom was your alarm clock? Well, that listen... That's a lot of responsibility. So if yes. some if some individual person is your alarm clock, you thank them. Yes. I want you to thank that person for waking you, you up. up. Because if there's one thing I don't want to do is be in charge of waking anyone else up. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> so if they're waking you up, they, they love, love you. you. <laughs> yeah, that person loves you. If they're uh -huh. looking out for you like that, they could just let you sleep for the rest of the day. You'd be rumple stilt skinning out. Yeah. You'd wake up with a beard, regardless of your gender. You'd, <laughs> you'd have a beard. <laughs> you'd sleep up with a beard. A hundred years later, you'd be like, uh oh, I wish somebody <laughs> somebody woke me up. But you did that for me a couple days, two days ago. I, did. I was like, I'm going to take a nap. Please don't let me sleep past 4.30 because I didn't want to wake up to an alarm. And my wife loves me and she did that for me. I did. So I did. Thank you. And then you're like, more. And I was like, more time. Yeah. But it helped. It made my headache go away. I felt much better. You wake up like a robot, exactly always the same time every day. It's a ballpark for me. Who here is an early riser and who likes to sleep in as long as they possibly can? Yes, I think Amelia and I cover the map on that one too. 
Yeah, I like to snooze. I like to snooze. Amelia sleeps in and I pop awake. As soon as my brain comes on in the morning, it is over for me, team. I'm going to drink two cups of coffee and then look at a technological device. And that has made my life so much better. It's only been about a week and a half that I've intentionally returned to this thing. But I am a way more... Happy person? Competent mind in the morning if I let myself wake up a little bit and then I find out what horrible things the Supreme Court has done. You know, I need like a little bit of time. Yeah, you need somebody else. I need a little time between me and bad news, mm -hmm. you know? Feels much better. Get you, wrap your brain, turn your brain on, you know? Yep. We also got a mockingbird out our window, which is <laughs> mocking me. <laughs> yes. Game Boy still here. Or does this look like a Switch? This looks like a Switch we've upgraded. Oh, yeah, or uh, it could be a, yeah, it's, it looks like a Switch. No, actually, it doesn't look like a Switch because it doesn't have the colored handles. It looks like a Game Boy DS. Game Boy Advance, that's what it is, Jub Jubilee Are Jack. these games? Yeah, those are cartridges. Oh. Sick. I'm glad to see we kept our game setup getting cool. Game Boy Advance or a PSP could be. I brought a PSP. I like to color portable. coordinate my books. Anybody else like to do that? Yes, Amelia coordinated all of our books on these shelves by their spine color, and it is beautiful. Looks like a rainbow. It's hard to find the books, though, because you have to then remember. It is a huge what pain in the ass. What color was this book? Well, luckily, if it's like a book by National Geographic, it's going to be yellow. If it's, uh, you oh, know. Oh, we still have the same poster. It's a little crinkly, though. You notice the corner's torn? Oh, yeah, it's been through some stuff. You do it by size. Yeah, coordinated by height is a good idea. Um, Jamaican juice for you. How you doing? Thank you for the big smiles, my friend. <laughs> Thank you for five months of support. Oh, jeans. Uh, do we read a lot? Yes. Yes. Uh, Amelia and I are, are, we have different tastes in reading though. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of nonfiction. And Amelia is, you're reading a nonfiction book right now though. I am reading a nonfiction book, but it feels like fiction. Which is probably why I like Ooh, it. Ooh, Frisbee? Yep, Frisbee. Oh, uh, where's here. my Frisbee friends at? I love to play Frisbee. What's this? A shoe. Oh. It's like a sneaker uh, or exercise, a climbing shoe. Yeah. Exercise shoe. I'm going to put this here for now. Snail Lady has read 60 books so far this year. Whoa, Snail Lady. That's amazing. Oh, Debo, we got to play Frisbee golf sometime. That would be a good outing. What's this? Uh, Friends, what is this? Zoom in on it. Deep that up. A cup holder? Climbing gear. Chalk bag. Sports equipment. It goes with the shoes. We've taken... We've ta Sport? <laughs> Yeah, my, my bro used to have a bag of chalk for uh, for gymnastics. It gives you a good grip. It protects your hands against uh, tears. So this is for rock climbing. Snail lady, you bet it. Thanks for, hang thanks for hanging with us. Appreciate the cheers. And Chris M. Rose. Hey. Hey. Welcome back for 41 months. Can I please? It could be a dice bag. Could be for D&D. Um, mod love. Mod love. Thank you, moderators. Thank you, lieutenants. Thank you for helping us on Twitch and on Discord. We appreciate it. Yes, we do. We appreciate you all so much. Like, whoa. Hey, have fun. If uh, reading books puts you to sleep, maybe that's a good trick if you uh, can't Sleep sleep. Yeah. <laughs> I do like to read to wind down and fall asleep. And EK800 Cyberlife, thank you for the gigantic cheers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can put things under the bed too, apparently. That's nice. Ah. Well, I'm just gonna organize them by lengths. So these are long sleeves in the middle, this is short sleeves, and then this is a blouse over here. I see. And then I'll see how much, oh, uh, maybe that can go in the kitchen. Oh, nice, Sammy Hearts. Have fun with the quarry. We'll be playing that one tomorrow from noon, which is about three hours, three and a half hours earlier than whatever time it is for you right now. And Tyrannus, thank you very much for being here with us. Cheers. Yoga mat. Nice. 
All right, team, if you have a yoga mat or if you would like to have an exercise or yoga mat, what color is it? Mm. What is your heart chakra yoga mat? Ooh, coming in hot. We got a lot of blues. Pink and purple's up there too. Mine is kind of black and purpley, marbly kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. and yours is more blue? Ish. Yeah, mine's but it's still kind of marbled, right? Oh, these are PJs. Here, you go here. She's in the zone. I'm in the zone. I'm sorry. I'm I'm organizing. I'm gonna keep my PJs separate up here. Um, I don't use a mat for yoga, but I use a mat to stretch. I do a lot of uh, stretching. I think that's very valuable. This skinny little trash can. You can throw away two Q-tips a month. Mm. Oh, some weights. Some weights. I'm put those under the bed. Oh, uh, Amelia, favorite museums, street outdoor arts, or gardens for someone visiting LA? Oh, okay. She's going in, team. All right, so here you, yeah, I, I'll, you, I'll you take, take over. over. She's the local, um, she'll tell you. Okay, thing. so one of, there are a lot of really awesome museums, um, but my favorite has to be the La Brea Tar Pits Museum because it is so unusual. But in Los Angeles, there are actual tar pits where they have found hundreds of thousands of bones from all of these prehistoric animals like saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths and dire wolves. So they have a whole museum with all of the bones that they've collected and right around the museum are the actual tar pits. So there's a huge one. It smells, but it's cool. Like tar. Yes, it smells like tar. And um, it's they have a museum and I haven't been in years I've actually been talking about wanting to make a little uh, road like a little trip to go uh, with some friends because it's just such a cool place and um, so I would say the La Brea Tar Pits and the La Brea Tar Pits is right next to three other really awesome museums one is LACMA which is a modern art museum which is really beautiful they have a lot of cool sculptures and installations and artwork and you can literally walk from one right to the other right next to that is a brand new museum called the uh, Academy Museum where they have all of this uh, memorabilia from movies and Hollywood films and uh, so if you if you like costumes or if you like props or if you like m love movies then that would be the place to go and it looks kind of like uh, it looks like it's out of Star Wars, the museum itself. And then across the street from that museum is the car museum. So if you like old cars oh, or cars movie, cars, movie cars. You got a DeLorean from Back to the Future. Yeah. They got the cars from Blade Runner. They mm -hmm. got the Sand Speeder from uh, Tatooine and, yeah. and Hope. Mm -hmm. So many cool vehicles. They have so many cool, maybe you put that in there if it can fit, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's just like tons and tons of really cool museums that are all right next to each other. Also within walking distance of these museums are the, uh, the, uh, what is it called? The, the Farmer's Market on 3rd Street and Fairfax. The Grove? Uh -huh. The uh, Farmer's Market and the Grove are right next to each other, but the Farmer's Market is from the 19, I think, 40s, um, but- Oh, the pig! Oh, pig! So there's there's a whole bunch of really cool things to do. So if you're into museums, I would say that area has just tons of options for you. We got our diploma. <laughs> Look at us. Thank you, good, good, uh, good. Oh yeah. List of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. things to do. What about all of you? What are some of your favorite museums? To go and visit. Do you like uh, do you like artwork? Do you like fine art? Do you like modern art? Do you like sculptures? Do you like uh, costumes? What kind of what are some of your favorite museums? Denver Museum of Nature and Science, Science Museum in Boston. Science museums are awesome. Yes, anything art or historical. Uh, art museum in. Chicago, MoMA, uh -huh, that's another cool one. The Titanic Museum, oh, that's cool. 
Titanic Museum. Oh, we still have our, our koi fish shirt. The Guggenheim Museum. The Louvre. Yes. Nice. Balboa Park. Historical museums. Museums are pretty cool. There's there's so many different, so many different uh, types and places. Nice. Oh, the Queen Mary. Yeah, the Queen Mary is a. Oh, it's an old, it's a museum it's an old, boat. Old old wooden ship. Yeah, a fancy ship. Maybe we hang that up. I've been stacking them. Stacks on stacks. Uh oh. This is so unlike us to not have as many underwear bundles as we have spots. Yeah, it's, uh, what do we do? I'm, Maybe I'm, we'll I'm find bundles in another I'm, spot. I'm worried sick about us. We might have used uh, socks or something to move our um, yeah. dishes. I can hang the yeah. skirts. Hey, for those of you who are listening, I know right now there's at least one or two of you who are here with us going, as I did once, I could swear I knew what I was talking about when I said dress and skirt. Well, here I am to mansplain to you that a skirt is from the waist down. It can be any length. It could be a short skirt, a mini skirt, could be a long skirt all the way to the ground. But if it's connected and it covers the top bits and the bottom bits, you got yourself a dress. Yeah. That thing is a dress. It's a dress because it keeps the top and the bottom all as one. And if it's a real fancy one, you could call it a gown. Mm-hmm. But... You uh, could pull a skirt up and make it into a dress. That's valid. I've, I've done that could. before. You mm -hmm. could. But I've done it. I just want you to know that y y after years of saying, I like your dress, it's a skirt. <sighs> I like your skirt. It's a dress. <laughs> uh, I got that wrong so many times that there was one time where I was like, hold on. I need to like just sit my man brain down mm. and learn. Yeah, got to learn. I got to make an intentional maneuver here. Mm-hmm. And uh, it got better. Yeah, I like your clothes. That's that's a good way to, to simplify. <laughs> I like your clothes. You are clothed, and that is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Let's go to dinner. So it looks like we got a job at a uh, a pumpkin factory, or Apple. Is it Apple? I thought at first I thought it was a shopping cart, or like a grocery store maybe, but I think it is an Apple. Yeah. But then why don't we have an Apple computer? I don't know. It's we don't work. I for think Apple. we work for a I think pumpkin we're gonna, farm. Yeah, or a supermarket. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, hey, a kilt yeah. is another thing altogether. Yeah. Guinea bees, thank you so much for cheering. Oh, this game was made by an Australian dev company. That's cool. I didn't know that. That's very cool. Um, and Tyrannosaurus Rex, thank you so much for cheering. I'm glad you're hanging out with us. Let's hang up this blouse here. I don't like that the um that the two blouses, the two skirts. Yeah, I know are, are, are separated. next to each other. We uh -huh. should. Yeah. I definitely keep my clothes in the closet, like long sleeve kind of dress shirty things all go next Thank to each you. other. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be terrible about it, but I can't live like this. The green one should go on the darker hanger. Yeah, and then the pink. Yeah, I mean we're we're professionals, right? We, I mean, we are professionals. We're professional unpackers, is what we are. <laughs> That's a lot better. Oh, Beth, thank you so much. The apron that I put into the kitchen thinking, why would I have an apron in my bedroom? She says it's part of my, uh, part of our uniform. So that on the desk, on the counter. Oh, should we put it in the bedroom? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for helping us. I, I would have, I'd be lost without you. I'll put it here. Yeah. Well. No, let's put it there. And then we put the hat. Oh yeah, the hat. Mm -hmm. That's our uniform. Okay, so maybe this isn't a pumpkin farm, but instead- What if it is a gourd farm because we're <gasps> Bingus? Bingus! Just saying. Hey! If that doesn't make you like and subscribe. Pri Primars <laughs> says that they're a, they're a 2D animation major right now, and Ooh. I'm hoping on working. I'm hoping to work on a game and getting into coding. Any favorite games, platform, story games, etc., that are in 2D style rather than 3D? Well, oh my gosh! I mean, uh, uh, this Star one's Stardew. This is the kind of 3D, right? No, I mean this is literally a two-dimensional image, but it has a depth. Uh, it has a perspective. It has a sense of perspective. But just because something has perspective doesn't mean it's not. 
two-dimensional. Mm. Uh, right? Team, how do we feel know. about that? If someone says a 2D game, what do we think? Well, I mean, the first one I think is Stardew Valley. That's a great 2D Stardew game. Stardew Valley's awesome. If you want something like Stardew Valley, but not directly that, we played a little bit of this Little Witch in the Woods game, oh, which yeah. is a different thematic world, but similar. similar. To the Moon was heartbreaking and wonderful. Yeah. Um, really like that one, re would recommend. Spirit Fair. So this is 2D, says Vega. Okay. Yeah, I'd call this 2D too. I mean, just because there's like a sense of perspective. It's still all, you know, we're not, uh, I guess the camera is not moving through a space. We have a, 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 a it, this is isometric 2D. Yeah. Thank you, Kolwitzki. Thank you. Hi, Ikra. How are you doing? Thank you for joining us. Hmm. Well, wait, Grand Hoff Tarkin is actually a professional artificial pumpkin carver. For real? For real, for real? Grand Hoff, you should get in business with Bengus. And I mean, but that's also seriously cool. That and is super cool. Can we see, see your stuff online? Yeah, for real, for real. That's fun. What's your favorite thing that you've carved? Or recently, what are you working on? <gasps> that would be fun. Yeah, that's a good question. What's your, what's the something you've carved that you're the most proud of? Hey, G-Cat, thank you so much for the, for the big gift. Really appreciate the, the chill stream. You needed this. Oh, well, we needed to hang out with all of you. So thank you so much for, for chilling with us and bringing the good vibes. Yeah, super appreciate you all hanging out with us. Yeah. This has been very good already just to mellow out the mind. So Grand Harf said that the one that they're most proud of is Pinhead. Whoa. Oh my gosh, a Pinhead pumpkin? That's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little intimidated. That would be- I'd be afraid a if I- A lot of detail. Yeah. I guess you gotta be real careful. Anything else you can hang, maybe? I'm running out of hangers. Okay. But maybe, do we have any of the other boxes, or? I don't know, we'll find out. We will. <sighs> I mean, I think we could just stack these shirts up. Stacks on stacks. This is how I am when I'm unpacking. You get towards the end and you're just like, okay, and Whatever. The, rest, the rest of it goes in the closet and it's over. There mm -hmm. we go. Oh wow, we have a whole living room to do. Yeah, we do. Um, do you want to take over and do the the living room space, and then I'll do the little yeah, dining sure. room? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Little nook, little nook. <laughs> so, team, we're gonna take it uh, real easy with this game, which is, I think, the only way you can. Uh, we're gonna play it today, and we're also gonna play it next Friday. I think it's about a three-hour game, so at this pace. Uh, I think it will be a two week shebang, but we will um, also take a little time to unpack some Pokemon. Pokemon! At the end of our uh, next Friday stream, I have been going through my collection and- uh, What's in here? And it looks like a terrarium. Like a lizard or a walking stick bug. Yeah. That's a bug. Bug, I like bugs. Yeah, thanks Katie Rose is on it. Um, thank you. Uh, if you, if you trade Pokemon cards, or you'd like to trade Pokemon cards with me, I'm working on collecting one of every Pokemon. That is my goal. Just uh, one of each, and then I will have collected every Pokemon, and the deed will be done, and I'll never, I'll never release any more Pokemon ever again. Oh, New Cage Fangirl Jade's like, you saw the new Pokemon cards they announced? Yes, they come out in September. <sighs> but I'm going for not one of every card, one of every Pokemon, uh, except Mr. Mime, who's not a Pokemon. He's a neighbor. And did, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> did you know there's a Mime Junior uh, card? I knew there was a Mr. Rhyme, but I just found out there's a Mime Junior, which really ruined my day because it means that I have to get a Mime Junior card to have all the Pokemon, even though it's yet a third Mr. Mime incarnation. Jinx is also questionable. I think Jinx is an ant. What do we do with this, friends? Where do we put our boom box? Is there room in the bedroom? Yeah, up here. All right. Yeah, that's good. Hey, Ruby Rudy. Ruby Rudy. Welcome back for 19 months. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. What's this? Cassettes? Ah, uh, could be cassettes. Should we put these in here or should we put it in our bedroom? Could go on the top shelf in the bedroom, maybe. Your cat's name is Ruby? Well, there you go. 
Whoa, that's cool, Beth. So we can zoom in on those, uh, like those cassettes. It'll show us what they say. And I'll have names of things from that year. Can you uh, press uh, circle on one? How do you select one of the cassettes? Or is that a cassette to select? Circle does it or no? Eh. Um, Primars, no, I'm not worried about what set they're from. I'm looking for cards that are in relatively decent condition, um, but the goal is to just get one of each Pokemon represented. Oh, Vega would really like us to turn on the PC now that we have the mouse and keyboard. Do you mind? No. <laughs> Circle. Uh. Like, circle on that big purple button is the way. Hey! 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 Nice. Now we're gaming. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh! Old school! Thank you, Windows! Memories! Wee! Wee! To answer the favorite Pokemon question, I'm gonna tell you it's Ditto, Charizard, Chansey, and... Ditto! <laughs> and Ditto. Ditto pretending to be the legendary birds is my favorite. Anyone remember dial-up tone? Yes, I will now do it for you. You've got mail. All right, what should we do with this wall? Should I continue with this, like, here? Yeah, that's kind of cool. As long as you keep that borders even. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Um... <laughs> Oh, we gaming. There we go. Beep. So they got a PlayStation. Oh, GameCube. We gaming. See, that was a good moment in life when you moved in with someone that had a different console than you. I always had a PlayStation, but I've lived with people with an Xbox and that makes the world go round. Mm -hmm. We don't need console wars. We need people with different consoles living together in harmony. And having different games. Uh, yeah. yeah! Cactus cards! <laughs> Out of my way! <laughs> Brought to you by Vicarious Visions. Is this a game? <laughs> a smashing blast from the past. It is. That looks like uh, cactus cards. Well, you're too large, so I'm going to put you in here. Oh, book. What's oh, this? there you go. You had Nintendo and your husband had Sega. See, there you go. That's a match made in heaven. Ooh, the towels? Blanket? Blanket. Seen some days, that's puffy blanket. Yeah. I'm glad that we have a friend who plays games with us and seems to be a very creative. I like that Bingus is playing cactus carts. I mean, a gourd playing cactus carts. Now that's comedy. Well, this is pretty good. We've put our artwork here. We've added our rascal game. We put uh, these are our these are our books here with our little guy, and then these, and then we have our games. Nice. Nice. Anthikosum, thank you for being here with your Prime and Tiara J. Thanks for being here for six months. Saying, I'm enjoying this stream. I appreciate you both so much. We appreciate you back, Tiara. Yay. Thanks for hanging out with us. I don't know. Whatever it was, it looked cozy, huh? Could be a blanket. Could be a towel. Could be a... You know, like a throw blanket. We have a lot of blankets. So many so that there's other ones here. In the studio. Well, it seems like this... Our roommate and, and us have... We have a lot of... Uh shared interests because look yeah our uh, little thing is exactly the same it's because we definitely play D, D together look yes! they got the dice tower so that <gasps> they can roll as the dm that is so cool very cool I, I bet that's i bet that's how we met and decided we were probably pl probably playing some D, D together 
and then being like, oh man, I gotta move out of housing. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have me too. We should, we could totally be roommates. Ah. And they were roommates. Oh my God, they were roommates. This one here? Like that here. looks like a ruse panda. It does look like a ruse panda. Is that a ruse panda or what? <laughs> Hey, take care, Summer Unicos. Have a good night. Thank you for joining us. All the best to you in Germany. <laughs> Where is everybody tuning in from right now? Hey. Oh my god, they were roommates. Oh, the Tower of Pisa. So we've been traveling. We have been traveling more. Uh, we have France and the England. The England. The England. The England. I see the UT means Utah. What's going on? South Africa, Manila, and Finland, Michigan. Tennessee, Massachusetts, Malaysia, Missouri. How you doing? I used to I used to live in Missouri. Kentucky. How do you do? California, A. Eh? Latvia, Australia, and Illinois. How you doing? Portugal. Beautiful. Makes me happy to see you all. Kitos, hello to you in Finland. <laughs> Kitos. My fellow Canadians, hello. Hello. Poland, Brazil, Spain, Tennessee. Taiwan. I like seeing all these Canadians shouting each other out. The Canadians are not letting themselves be known as Canadians. They're looking for the other Canadians. They're like, Canadians, are you all there? <laughs> the other Canadians are like, I hear you Canadians. Canada's, Canada is a big place. Canada is a big Canada place. Canada is a million miles wide. Oh, look. And when the Canadians assemble. <laughs> Chicken! <gasps> squat nut? Squat nut. Should He's squat nut really here? squat. I put, put him by the bug. Aww. Yeah, friends. A chicken and a bug are friends. I'm going to take this and put it here. In Ohio. How you doing, Ohio? Argentina. Thank you for being here. Algeria, how are you? And Queensland, beautiful. Pennsylvania, what's going on? Yeah, the England, Susie, you know. <laughs> Can you fit here? No. I think it's better to stack the bigger books in my personal life, because those are the ones that, you know, you only got to move a couple of them. If you got to stack a little books, that's chaos. Uh, Yasmin, we are working on some other video games. Thanks for asking. Uh, we've got, um, well, we kind of can't talk about them until they're released. It's sort of how it works with video games. But we can tell you that Amelia and I are each in a video game that the other is not in and also in a video game together. And other than that, I will say nothing for it will make other people sad. <laughs> uh, we can't talk about the games until they're out, unfortunately. But thank you for your excitement. Yes. Yeah. The games are called Redacted. <laughs> this information has been redacted. Redacted. But yes, we have a lot of exciting stuff on the horizon. Ooh. And we will tell you as soon as we are able. Nice. Hey, another room unpacked. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. Do you want um, to do the bathroom? Yeah, I'll take over the bathroom here. All right. How's everybody feeling? We, we're at the top of our next hour, oh, so yeah, maybe... we could take our hydration break. Maybe before we un unpack our restroom here, mm -hmm. uh, let's take a little five minutes, shall we? Mm -hmm. Can I can I get a big hug for all of our mod team real quick? Because I, I got to say thank you to our moderators. We got a group of folks that help us. Our Twitch moderators, our Discord moderators, and our lieutenants on Twitch all help us out with our streams substantially. So much. They keep the chill vibes flowing. They help answer all of your awesome questions. Mm -hmm. They make sure I got everything plugged in right and then nobody gets electrocuted. <laughs> Actually, they can't do that. That's entirely on me. <sighs> and uh, I'm really grateful for them. So thank you to our awesome team. And yeah. thank you to my beautiful wife for being my beautiful wife. Aw, thanks for being my handsome husband. End. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Let's go hydrate, team. Get yourself a snack, and we'll see you in five. Welcome back from your hydration break. It is time. It is time? The time is now. The time is nigh? Nigh. Let's unpack. 
<laughs> Leslie Red Rosie, welcome back. Appreciate you being here for 41, 41 months. months. Oh my thank goodness. Thank you, thank you, Leslie. Thank you for your incredible support. Hello, everyone. What's up, every friend? Every friend, one <laughs> and all. Every friend. Every friend, each and each. Come, come. Uh, we're playing a little unpacking today, and we'll probably complete it on next Friday's stream, but we'll play for a little bit more, maybe an hour. And uh, I see uh, Ghost with a Beating Heart. I see your cute little animated Pokemon emote. Oh, That's so beautiful. Hello. Um, if, you, if you'd like to share uh, or trade Pokemon, I'm down, exclamation point, Pokemon in the chat. We'll get you the link. And after we finish our unpacking stream next Friday, uh, we'll take a look at some card collection. My goal is to have all 900 plus Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. And then I'll have done it. And then, finally then, and only then, will I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Bri. Do you want to oh, do the bathroom or you want to do the kitchen? Uh, We've done a, go a good amount of room in the dining room. This is the living room. It's all unpacked. Good. Kitchen needs some help. I'll do the kitchen, I think. Yeah. Uh, for anyone who's just joining in, this is what our living room is looking like right now. Pretty good. This is a really chill game called Unpacking. And essentially what we're doing is we're going through the years and unpacking this person's life and putting things away and getting to know who they are and and what, uh, what their passions are and what things have stuck with them throughout the years. Um, and it's so chill. This is probably the chillest it's so game. Chill. It's probably chiller than Stardew, which is saying a lot. This is 2007. Right. And if you're uh, currently tuning in and you're in a seated position or you're laying down or maybe you're standing up and hiding at work because you should be doing something else, but instead you're getting those sweet video game moments in. Are you in the most physically comfortable position you can be in? Is there a way you can give yourself a pillow? Ah! <laughs> Jesus. That's nice. That, you all right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> that was not the desired effect, uh, but I was just gonna suggest if anybody wants to get themselves a little bit more comfortable, <laughs> take a second and see if you can like, you know, unclench your fist <laughs> or, uh, you know, elongate your neck or just like, you know, get, get comfortable. <laughs> Oh, the potato peeler's still on the scene. Uh, on the cookie jar. Cookie jar better go up high or my roommate's gonna eat all my cookies. You cannot put it up high. Maybe it goes with the sugar. Maybe it or does. You, you, you organize how you want to do it. No, 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 no. I, 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 I prefer it when people backseat game, even unpacking. <laughs> Here, I'll put sugar up there with this. Yeah. With the ugh. And the oil, where should I put the oil? You tell me everything what to do. Left, 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 right. Up here. Now you're comfy. Now Pandora's ready. Is this like that's we, good. That's great. Yeah, we put all of that's like, where it is. I gotta rotate. Yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wait. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. There it yes. is. Oh, team. Yes. Look at that symmetry. Is it, is it possible to store things in the oven? No. And actually, the the drawer underneath your oven is not a drawer. It's a broiler. Yeah. However, we store things in there too. Don't feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. Big knife. Knife. Murder blade. Twenty-eight. What's oh, that? Is that a magnet? Oh, oh, a koala! A koala like Jin. Jin is our attention-seeking koala friend, uh, named by Sakura Artsy. Oh, there he is! He seeks attention. Attention, please. Give him attention, everyone. Look at that koala. All right, Jin. That's enough. Jin. Jen, you're getting too close. You're gonna smudge the lens. Jen, no! Jen, I'm trying to. Jen, I'm trying to ch have a really chill stream, but then you're doing this sort of adorable dance. He's... You're you're hogging the limelight, you know. Twenty eight stabbers. What? <laughs> you didn't want a eucalyptus as a chance. That doesn't make sense. All right, all right, all right, honey. All right, pat it on the head. We got a star, star, the star for the koala up top, and a heart. Oh, oh, nice the strawberry. Yeah, that's cute. Whoosh. That's really sad. I wish every cardboard box that, as soon as it got emptied, you touched it once and it floated up in the air, folded it in half, the tape just went easy, no staples. Okay, I have a question 
for all of you. <laughs> what? That's very kind of you because it would be really rude if you were like only someone. <laughs> I have a question only for I am Deviant RK800. <laughs> I have a question for all of you. What is your go-to meal when you're going to cook cook lunch or dinner for yourself? What is your go-to meal or your favorite thing to cook? Good call. For yourself. Are you trying to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner tonight by I was, pulling everybody here? <laughs> that was part of it. Uh, ravioli, rice, uh, scrambled eggs or spaghetti, pesto pasta, guacamole, nice, tacos, sausage casserole, Ordering pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ramen. I like to cook ordering pizza. <laughs> ramen. Tonkatsu ramen. You make your own. That's so oh, cool. Oh, I had tonkatsu ramen last night for dinner. Yes. We didn't cook it, though. No, we did not cook it. Uh, non pizza. Chicken and rice. Grilled cheese. Pancakes with veggies. Ooh. Stuffed French toast. Chicken risotto, rice bowl, mac and cheese, fried rice, honey soy flavored stir fry, mm. a sandwich, enchilada, spag ball, <laughs> spag ball, tortilla chicken curry, Cajun pasta. Cooking gives you anxiety. Yeah, it, it could be a little. I found I've had anxiety when I'm cooking a brand. Maybe under the sink or something. A brand yeah, you don't new, want to put your bug spray by your strainer. A brand new recipe for the first time, and I'm making it for a lot of people. That brings me anxiety. Um, Which is why we just don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah. I lived, I learned. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend if you're going to cook for people, don't try a brand new recipe that you've never made before. Um... Yeah, do an old standby. Yeah, do an know? old standby. Don't don't get all um, uh, adventurous Fancy. on the first. Like Amelia thing. did with the ratatouille. No, it wasn't ratatouille. It was. Uh, what did you do? It was. Are these sponges? Yeah, those yeah. are sponges. Hey, it? here's a fun fact. Not really a fun fact. Here, bless <laughs> you. Nice. I do this thing when Amelia puts pepper on her uh, pasta now where I just get up and walk away. Yeah, because <laughs> I, whenever I put, uh, huh. Oh. Bless you. Uh, anyway, pepper's been making me sneeze a lot recently. She's getting more sneezy, Every time I put pepper on my food, I sneeze a lot. What does that mean? What is it? Why mean? is it just happening now Nobody in my life? Nobody knows what it means. It's provocative. Yeah. Thank you. I feel very blessed. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Um, a new allergy, perhaps. Perhaps. I'm a sensitive soul. <laughs> There's a spoon. Though I seem thick-skinned, <laughs> and it hurt. That my friends never stood downwind. <laughs> and and the oh, shame, shame! The unspeakable shame! Thought of changing my name? Oh, what's And though he name? was downtrodden! Every time that I. Pumba. Pumba, not in front of the kids. Not in front of the kids! <laughs> <laughs> Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. Ain't no peasant craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's <laughs> it's our problem-free philosophy. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Akuna matata. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this towel and have you head into the other into the other room with right. I think the kitchen's looking pretty good for me. Hakuna Matata. Switch it over to Amelia's playing. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> they Do say that your your singing is so good, Amelia. You're gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're to speak. Thank you to those of you who are singing along with us. Philosophy. Hakuna 
I'm a doctor. Carrie Berry, way too observant. Why don't Timon and Puma age in that sequence? <gasps> Good point. Maybe they maybe they have already reached their maximum size. They're immortal. Is why crystallized faith is correct. What's this? Timon and Puma are. Oh, it's a nail, nail clippers. clippers. Brush, rotate the nail clippers. Ooh. Get it perfect. Nice. Curling irons. <gasps> oh. The moment we've been waiting for. Brat, brat. Hold on. Maybe. That's a bag of. That's gotta be like fingernail polish and stuff. You that's have a, a bag. Mega that looks... bag. Oh, it's a mega bag. You have a bag that looks like that. You're gonna go up here. What is this? What's this? Oh, are these? This is medicine. Uh, it's an at-home COVID test. It's uh pills. It's uh, it's uh Tylenol, Allegra. Could be some kind of over-the-counter medication. Still using the same do. Do for the bo. So I got the same bottle of perfume fragrance. Mm -hmm. I also have the same bottle of cologne from like a really, really, really long time ago because I don't really wear cologne that much. Does anybody have a bottle of perfume they've had for like a hundred years? Yeah. Actually, my mom, when she was younger, she, um, she had, uh, she worked at Bloomingdale's in the, uh, in the um, uh, section where they have all of the different perfumes and she collected a whole bunch of perfumes, like teeny tiny little ones, and I still have a whole bunch of them. The little teeny tiny, but they're all very unusual yeah. shapes and I can confirm mm -hmm. there are a lot of them. Yeah, but I like them because they make me think of my mama. That would be an intense job. I don't think I could handle being in that part of the mall for more than the time it takes me to hold my breath as I run through that part of the mall, you know? Yeah. Like there's so many smells in there and the ladies are all like, here, like smell like this. And I'm like, I don't know you. And they're like, smell like this. And I'm like, no. There we go. Woo, nicely done. Carrie Berry, thank you for the gifts up. Would you like to smell like passion fruit? Or lavender oil? What's your favorite? Ooh, that's a good question. What's Something's your... not right. Oh, this. I can't have the bads. Okay. This could go up here. I could go there. I'd be all right. All right. And something's not right in the kitchen. What's oh, your my... favorite fragrance smell? My favorite. Fragrance smell is a little redundant, but you know what I mean? Like, you like lavender, the smell of lavender. I do love lavender. Like, I mean, jasmine, I jasmine. think, might be my top. Oh, the knef. This is very clear that the roommate was like, don't touch any of my things. Mm -hmm. you can, there we go. Hey, upgrade. We got all of our stuff. There we lilac. go. Lilac. Ooh, lilac is nice. Basil, huh? A lot of love for Jasmine. Sa uh, sandalwood, Sandalwood's magnolia, good. vanilla. Good work, babe. Milk and honey. <gasps> D20. Nice. New stickers. Way bigger than my last kitchen. Way bigger. So this is our journey that we've had. Finally my own room. In 1997. Well, definitely a lot more pink and a lot more toys. I like how in that first one we were like, oh, it's college. <laughs> I don't think so. I feel and like... then this was our second, this was our first, uh, like, apartment by ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... Classes start Monday. Uni, here I come. Yeah, that's our first. All right, and so maybe I can go back here. Let me know. Bring. 2010. 2010. Three years later. Whoa, we're in the city now. 
Whoa, we are living with someone else. This is a very different style. Let's check, because we still have this bug here. It might still be the same person, but we've just Oh, they could have, yeah, they could have. Still could, have the game stuff. Well, yeah, but they got Xbox. Could be a different person. No one would ever have a PlayStation and then have an Xbox. That's preposterous. This might be... Can't believe it. Wow. Ooh. Wow. Moving on up. Oh, okay. So this is a bed for two people as opposed to a bed for just one person. This is overall has like a totally different aesthetic than the stuff that was in the other place. I think we moved in with a partner. Yeah, this right? is this is a this is a partner. I think we're moving in with our significant other. A mother. lover here, maybe. Could be. Could be. How exciting! Which room do you want to do, or can I do? You one? pick your first. You have your first choice. I want to do the entertainment room because you guys see the living room and the other one. All right. Hey, Carrie Berry, thank you for the gift sub to uh, Madoc. Welcome back for five months, and Tiara, thank you for the cheers, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Oh, D20. D20's still here. Right in the middle, ready to roll. Aww. Oh, Minnie. Also right in the middle, ready to roll. Let's play some D&D. Right away. Mm, is that a cassette? Whoa. Whoa. Too much. Hmm. Maybe we can go down here. We gotta stack these over here. Stacks on stacks. This is like so gentle for your brain. Yeah. Oh, ukulele. Oh, yo, ukulele. Oh, uke. Maybe we play music together. Wait, what's that? Is there a square and a triangle, or is that from something else? Well, the triangle shows us the map of the place. Okay. okay. So we can switch up the rooms. Uh, squares to take a photo. Touchpad gives us uh, our settings. Oh, under bundles. Yeah, on the bed for now. Let's put that right there. Under bundles. <laughs> that looks like Ooh, a yeah, cactus carts. Yep, cactus carts 07. Uh. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Not next to the glasses, Oh guys. my gosh, you guys, I almost put that... I almost put that game by those glasses. I don't know what I was. No. Don't know what I was thinking. Wow. Yeah, Magnolia <laughs> knows we do not put glasses. Whoa! Slow down, bro. <laughs> Next to the games. Slow okay. Slow down. Sorry, team. I got carried away. I don't. I, I don't know what was happening. Oh, yeah. I got dr drunk with power. Drunk. I can rearrange stuff here. Oh, our our partner is allowing us to. Uh, oh. Maneuver items. This is probably a safe spot, though. You don't he want is. that on top. No. Unpacking's getting serious. <laughs> because the chicken's here. Chicken! <laughs> chicken! Chicken. 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 Squat night. Yeah, that's, that's a good, a spot. good spot. That's a great <laughs> spot. Hey, Leslie Red Roadie, thank you so much for the gift sub to Winter Eyes. Hey, welcome back, Winter. Oh, look! Little! Oh, little! Little! Oh, so, so nice. <gasps> oh! Little, oh my god. Oh. Oh, I have to put them in this order because, because he was the second one born out of his hatch. Yeah. You know, he's like, hold on, guys, wait for me. That's adorable. Oh, musical musical books. We should go up here, maybe we can. Stacks on stacks. Yeah, here's our music books should go together. Let's see what else we got. We'll keep so Ooh, big puffy blanket. I think a couch could be nice. Yeah. Song books. For uh, journals. All right, a mysterious uh, magical entity arrives to you and says, I can provide you 
with all of the books that you desire. But the books must be always the same kind. You can have lined pages. You can have no lines, like uh, nothing written on there at all for sketch pages. Mm. Grid paper or sheet music blank. Mm. Which, do, which do you choose? Who do you pick? Notebooks for life. What's your variety? Lined for me. Lined for you? Mm -hmm. Lined pages. Grid paper is getting some serious love. I'm actually a little surprised about the grid paper seeing the Lots love. of lines. Lots of, lots of blank. Oh, uh, here, blank, blank. Dotted. Lined. lined Anybody want sheet music? Anybody wants blank sheet music? Lined, lined. Lined, lined. Lined, sketch. Lined. Blank, sketch, lined. Oh, here, Jolie wants just sheet music. All right, there you go. You get all the sheet music then. Lined, 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 lined. lined. <laughs> these are our D and D books, clearly. All these notebooks. More D and D. Mmm. Cactus booties also wants sheet music. More D and D. Also, cactus booties. Your username is so much fun to say. Thank you. More D &D. Thank you for the opportunity. Th yeah, thank you for naming yourself <laughs> Cactus Booties. So that I may say that. Similarly, I'd like to shout out to Dinosaur Spinach Butt if you're out there somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if you're here today, but even if you're not, I hope someone clips this and shows it to you. And just know. So that you know when I say Dinosaur Spinach Butt, it makes me yeah. laugh in uh, my heart. If, if there's somebody here who has a username that you're just like, oh, yes. Uh, please feel free to, to shout them out and give them a compliment for their for their great choices. Yes, yeah. feel free to at somebody if you yeah. think they have a really great username. Just mm -hmm. let them know right now. Say, yeah. yeah, just let them know. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> this looks like Zelda. Something. Oh. RK800 says that they're friends with Spinach Butt, and they'll let them know. You Will you please that. let them know that? Thank you. The Vulture Committee, that is pretty good too, yes. Vulture Committee. So many amazing user usernames. Oh, look, it's Donnie Darko. <gasps> uh, oh, another oh, one. And more Chicon. Ch Ch Chicon. Where are you all gonna sit? He's, he's, a, he's braver than the others. He's small. <laughs> More racing games. GameCube. GameCube. Where are you gonna uh, put that little one? I think we need to move these chickens. Where should we put them? In a place of power, gotta be. Gotta be. Maybe where the ukulele is, or some of the uh, other stuff up top. Huh, the ukulele is, it's like, it's more fragile, you know? Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like it's only got to be safe. We could put in the bedroom. No, there's not a lot of room in there. Mm. Not in the bathroom. Look at that fancy toilet from this future. It's a future toilet. I was about to say from the space. The space future. See a box. So many books. We haven't quite made the digital migration team. I know you don't want that there. I'm going to put it away later. Said every husband to every wife. <laughs> I know you don't want this here. I swear I just got to go outside and hose it down. I'll be right back. One second. Jacket. Jacket. Chiquete. Yeah. I love you guys just sharing each other some nice notes. That's nice. Makes me happy to see. Alright, okay. there's only one box left. Only one box left. Can I move their stuff? Yeah. yeah. We, gotta, we gotta sort that. Maybe the game, uh... Yeah, I want to know. This stuff should all be, like, wired in, you know? There you go. There we go. Wait no. a sec. Can we, can't st can we rotate you? No, you can't stand up on your side? Weak. 
I thought Xboxes could stand up on their side. There, there you go. Yeah, there we go. Here, this is how I do it. I like to see the controllers. Oh, you can't. Oh my god! Oh. Summoned! Dinosaur spinach butt! Hello! We were just talking we were about just you. just talking about you, yes! We were talking about great usernames and how when people's usernames are so fun, it makes us smile. And then I said, you know whose name makes me smile? Every time. Dinosaur spinach butt. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, here you are, back for 14 months! Yo! Oh my gosh! Look! Wow! I think in Dinosaur Spinach Butt's honor, we should crack open a pack of Pokemon cards. That seems like the only dramatically appropriate thing to do at a time like this. Doesn't it, Dinosaur? Your ping works? Yes, do it. All right, I'm doing it. All right. Here we go. Let's have a fun. Let's have a fun, team. <laughs> hey, you wanna see my desk? You wanna see all that tea from earlier? You can't. No signal. You can't, because it's not plugged in. Hold on a sec, we're gonna get this. Plug it in, plug it in. You're a rectangle, not a camera at all. <laughs> You're a series of colorful rectangles. Get out of here. Dramatic pause. Dramatic pause. I'm gonna get the, uh, the, the packs. packs. Dinosaur Spinach Butt, thank you for being here. And yeah. thank you for giving me a reason to turn on the disco ball of blinding. <laughs> it just seems yeah. dramatically appropriate. It did, it did. It was, it was, it was pretty perfect. It's pretty perfect. Pretty mm. perfect. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. In a long time. time. Long time. Oh. Oh, wrong button, babe. I didn't press anything. You I just did, got the, the stream deck. Here I we just go. got the pony. There it is. This is yet another angle of Amelia's pony, which has become uh, <laughs> quite the star of the show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's all the teas, the aforementioned teas that we we spilled the tea together. Yeah. This is yet another pony, <laughs> which really isn't as on brand for me as it is for Amelia. But when her face is hidden, it looks like it's me showing off my little ponies. <laughs> it's they mine. Are, they, they are called my little ponies, so no matter whose they are. Bye. Fly. Whenever you refer to them, they're your little ponies. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Firefly. There you are, Peter. All right, team. I need your help picking a pack. We got Lost Thunder. Um, what should we do? Uh, Lost Thunder, Astral Radiance, or Sword and Shield. Hit me with a one, two, or a three in the chat, my team. I'm zoom in on these. Which one? One, two, or three. I'm even going to put a poll so you can let me know which one to open. And exclamation point. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Exclamation point. Pokemon in the chat will get you a link to the list of all the Pokemon I'm working on collecting and diligently chipping away at my spreadsheet. How are you doing? Beautiful wife. I'm good. I'm just like... You're just having a moment? Yeah. Slightly off camera with your beautiful <laughs> friend? Yeah. It's pack two. You want this Astral Radiance, huh? Astro Radiance is the most recent of the Pokemon uh, packs to be cracked, or to be released, and then to be cracked. Thank you all for your input. Let's see what we get in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate the camera in just a second. I think we want it a little more zoomed in. How's that? My little pony, my little pony, making the world a better place. My little pony, making the world a better place. Say that again. <laughs> my Little Pony, My Little Pony, Making the World a Better Place. Is that their song? That's their song. My Little Pony, All My right. Little Pony, Making the World a Better Place. Well, do you think we're going to get a pony or a dinosaur spinach butt kind of Pokemon? Let's see. Uh, I think the card trick for this one is four. It's got to be. And Astral Radiance. Let's go. Anybody who plays the online game, take a screenshot of that. And use it for your own collection oh, of digital. Nick G G Nick, Nick D. Uh oh, we're gonna get a punny though. What's up, Nick? What? G G Nick D. A punny? Sick rap, bro. <laughs> and I mean for it. For those of you who have not yet have the had the privilege, G G Nick D is one of our very very best friends, uh, our manager, um, and just ask a, him about a riding ponies. Ask a him, wonderful person. Ask Nick if he's ever ridden a pony and where did he go? Yeah, where did you go, Nick? Where'd you go on the pony, where'd Nick? Where'd you go on the pony, Nick? 
It's the only defense I have is va vaguely blackmailing you with things that only you and I truly know. Um, Nick loves animals, especially ponies, and... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, he is back for 41 months. 41 months! <laughs> I do love you. Don't ask me. <laughs> hey, Nick, I'm going to ask you this. Can you try to guess which element this... You, you can, if you don't know a Pokemon elements, you can just say, which color is the card? I'm flipping it over, Nick. It's gonna be lightning, fire, blue? Is it water? Let's see if Nick is right. Yeah. Anybody else wants to guess? Now's your chance. Three, two, one. <gasps> fighting type. Fighting close, Honestly, close. Honestly, Nick, I feel like you might be a fighting type Pokemon. Um, for real. We got a fighter. Ooh, Uxie! This is a big damn deal, because I do not have an Uxie and I need one. So, this High actually five. makes me happy in a way that it wouldn't normally because we're working towards our collection of all 900 Pokemon and Uxie is one of the few I do not have. Thank you, Uxie. Also, Nick, uh, I, I'm ready for your pun if you've got one for me. I, I will happily accept. <laughs> his pun was Amelia likes me more than Brian does. That was his pun. <laughs> yeah. That's not true, Nick. You changed my life, dude, and you know it. Oh, but Kamado. I'm ready for it. Oh, Evie. Eevee. Cute little Eevee. I love this little Eevee. E Eevee. Eevee. I'm, you'll like this Eevee? I'm going to send this Eevee along with the sticker on today's prize. Why don't we, after this pack of Pokemon, we'll, we'll pull a pack of... We'll pull, we'll pull a prize winner, and the winner will also get this Eevee along with their uh, Deck Art Games hologram sticker, Nick. What do you think of our stickers, my dude? All right. Nick's got a, got a pun. How are 10 plus 10... And 11 plus 11, the same. They're, they're not. 10 plus 10 is 20. 11 plus 11 is 22. <gasps> That's... Uh, yes! I, yes! I uh, like it! I like it! I like <laughs> that pun! <laughs> That was really good. That was good. I, I think I might use that. That was actually really good, uh, Nick, because yeah. it combines things that I like, like simple math? arithmetic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also homonyms. Yeah, yeah. Words that sound the same but are not the same, like the words two and two, T-W-O and T-O-O. -O. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite homonyms? Yeah, hit us with homonyms, team, while I hit you with a Heracross. Um, and I, I happen to see a little bit of the edge on that. You're cringing to your core. Perfect. It's working. <laughs> it's working. You're almost ready to become a Jedi of cringe. Oh, and Bet G sees a shiny board? Or? I saw that shiny board too, Bet G. I didn't want to mention it, but but I knew somebody would be. Oh, blue and blue. Oh, this Teddy Ursa is going home with somebody ring too. Ring and ring. Ooh. There, there, and there. How about Mantine and Mantine? Bear and bear. <gasps> Scyther? <laughs> Homie G? Pale and pale. What's it gonna be? Crown of Dose Reverse Hollow. Here's our card team. This is our this is the our big moment one. moment we've been waiting for. The moment you've been waiting for. The pride of Pokemon. Does anybody want to try to guess what Pokemon it is? Because it is a oh 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 oh. oh. <gasps> Who are, what? are you? Who are you? Origin form Palkia V? Who? What? Enhance. What? What? Who are you? I thought it was a Mr. Mime at first, and I was gonna... Dude! Start laughing. It looks sick, right, Nick? Yeah. I genuinely don't know. I've I've never even heard of an origin form Palkia V. Let me look at you. Be very careful with it. It's super good. Okay. Makes me happy. So look, it's little. It's little, and it's standing... It's a pony. It's a, here, but it's, you on, can't really on. see it. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right. enhance. It, it looks like a pony that's standing. A pony. It, it, that's what I'm saying. It's pony flavor. It's pony. What are the odds that? What are the? You know what? I think the best way to show it. I'm gonna put it in a little case real quick. We're gonna get it right, sweet. It's a pony. Let's do like this. Whoa. I'm about it. I've never seen anything like that. It's 167 of 189, and I'm gonna take away this camera for good, and I'm gonna go like this. 
And I'll rack focus so you can see it on a better resolution. How about that? Isn't that cool? I don't know if that's any better. Is it better? It's a little better. Very pony, 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 pony! <laughs> rule the region and hydro break. I like it. That's cool. I do not have this Pokemon, so that's two. That's two that were not on the list before. Are we in focus? Nice. Yeah, I don't know. that's good. I don't know. Cool. Nice. Fun. He's like a pony and a dragon kind of a vibe. Mm. Do you want to do one more room before we, we take a pause? Yeah, let's do let's do one more room. So we're playing this game called Unpacking, which is probably the chillest game of all time. And uh, if you're curious about playing it, I would definitely recommend. I have thoroughly enjoyed this adventure. Um, and yeah. Nah, yeah, that'll be irritating, right? Yeah, to watch really TV annoying. with that there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just get the rest of the stuff out and then we'll situate it. I need, to, I need to see it all before I decide where it goes. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. You love this game, it's so cute. Yeah, it is really cute. It's so chill. So many binders. Maybe there's a different place to put that ukulele, which is definitely taking up a good amount of space. Oh, here's some space underneath. Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, nice! Well, bus is still in the game. That could be okay there. Yeah. Whoosh. All right, we're almost there. But the chicken. This little chicken needs a better home. Yeah. The bug can't really go on the shelf. He won't be happy if I put his bug on the lower but shelf. But also the bug might not be happy <gasps> Wait. Uh, if if it's on top of the, the uh, speaker. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can freak the bug out. I think it would freak the... Maybe this has to go up here. Yeah. And can we rotate that so that it's... No, nah, that's that. But then this gives a home for there. Mm -hmm. Two towers. Look good. One for Sauron. One for Saruman. And right there. Uh, uh, right with us in a different place. Ukulele, what do we do with Ukulele you? Ukulele is your... Maybe we put it in the closet? Yeah, I can go in the closet. Yeah. I have an idea. What? Can I put this? Because we have a window over here. Mm, yeah. Maybe that's good. Yeah, maybe some of those books on top can go on the bottom. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, less stressful. Gotta get it organized looking right. I should put all these games over here. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good to see you, Scorpio Can we Inc. I'll offer you a big hug, my friend. Aww. Thank you for being here with us, Scorpio Inc. And if you got one of those gifted subs from them, please be sure to thank Scorpio. Yes. And check out the starter kit. That'll show you the way around our channel. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this room pretty close to done. I, I think that. Yeah. Put these things out. We got chicken. lots of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. It might be time for us to like, like start minimizing. Yeah. Our, our Do we have a giveaway pile? <laughs> yeah, we need a giveaway pile. Anytime Amelia and I do any cleaning, we always end up with a bag full of stuff that is gonna make somebody else happier. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm feeling good about this room. All right. I'm gonna take a picture. And uh, maybe we can add some stickers here and then I'll pass it over to you for a little bit. Good job. And, uh... Hmm. Oh, here. We're watching, we're watching uh, a thing about games. Mm-hmm. We're watching the new, re the new releases of the, the most updated controller. <sighs> All right, there you go. All right. Um, I'm gonna do a 
first simple room of the bathroom. Thanks, Cherry. Appreciate that nice message. All right. Makeup can go here. Um, I'm, if you don't mind me moving some of your stuff around, I'm just gonna put your shaving things here. Toothbrush. Oh. Well, they have a much fancier toothbrush than we do. Well, you know what? I think I'm gonna give you your side and then I'll take my side over here. So who's team uh, standard toothbrush, manual, or uh, automatic with the Where do we stand, team? Um, I mean, right now I have a- We're both manuals right yeah, now. Yeah, manual. I've had um, electric toothbrush. Electric toothbrush in the past. Anybody wants a red vine? Speaking of toothbrushes, it's time for candy break. Grab one. Do you think that we've moved in with our partner? Gotta be. Because it seems like they've definitely taken up a good amount of this. No, this was their place before we moved in. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it feels like. Had to be. Leslie, thank you for the gift sub to Cherry Air. Appreciate that. <laughs> Red vines are so good. Hey, Amelia. Yeah. Uh, Tyrannus on Rex says, what do you call a group of singing dinosaurs? Uh, what? A Tyrannochorus. <sighs> I ran a chorus. <laughs> That's unusual. All right, my pads don't fit in here. Mr. Riddler, welcome <gasps> back for Mr. Riddler. 26 months. What are you doing with your day? Riddling <laughs> so? <laughs> I, I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. Um, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> Amelia stepped out of bed this morning and smacked her head on a window. We haven't. <laughs> We haven't been able to figure out how to put her back together again. Mr. Riddler. Mr. Riddler. Riddling so. <laughs> what? The Riddler got me, team. In Arkham, Batman Arkham, Riddler wore me down. Yeah. Riddler is a wonderful villain. Very effective. Apu! Apu! Thank you for the gift sub to Mr. Batman. Batman. Mr. Batman. <gasps> okay, we got a hair straightener. I'm gonna put that over there. There's a video game called Habo. I don't know it, I'll look it up. I haven't heard of that one, but if you'd like to recommend a game for us, exclamation point games in the chat, we'll get you the link. Virtual world avatar chat and pixel art. Habo, virtual world. Cool. Thanks for the recommend. Habo, chatting, role-playing, and building in an epic pixelated virtual world. Social and building MMO available on your Android device. Still works. of question marks all over him. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Riddler. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the five gifted subs. Can we offer you a big hug, friend? <laughs> thank you for being Mr. with us. Mr. Riddler. Appreciate your good vibes. And if you got a gift sub from Mr. Riddler, be sure to say thank you, Mr. Riddler, or type a bunch of question marks <laughs> into the chat if you like. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Silly, silly friends. <laughs> yep. All right, I think I'm done with the bathroom. So should I get into this kitchen or? What 
I think we could do it because I, I have good intel that after we complete this apartment, oh, we got to do our whole bedroom too. I know there's a so lot to do. D does anyone know if we can just kind of pause in between or do we need to finish the whole apartment, so to speak? If we just pause it here, we'll be auto saved. You can pause. We can pause. All right. So <gasps> let's just how play to fancy till those. Why don't, why don't you unpack this next box and then we'll pull a winner for our for our prize? I got an I got an EV and a oh, deck art game little... sticker that want to go home with someone on the stream. So how about another Pokemon pack? Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's not like not like any way Amelia could stop me, other than <laughs> saying husband don't do that, and then I would literally stop. But I'm gonna do it until she says don't. Ah. Uh? Yeah? Yeah, Bri? We're gonna we're gonna do more? I don't know. I don't know. Are we gonna do more? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about, do you? No. Sugar? More? What's right. that? What's that in the lower corner of the screen? Oh, wow. Wow, that looks like just a little tiny extra camera. Why would he add a, a little extra camera? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> a spoonful of sugar <laughs> helps the medicine go down. The medicine go, go down. down. Medicine go, go down. down. It's a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Which one, team? Sword and shield or lost thunder. Oh my god. You're blocking the screen. ADHD stream. Oh, okay. okay. You know what? I can fix that. I can fix that. You know what we'll do? What the? There's, what the? There's two of us, Francis, and we can do this. Just the two. Okay. Let me just pause Look, here. No, no, no. no. Let this me just pause. This is Amelia. Pause. She's you living can... her best life and just me over here living my best life. Listen. I'm going to just pause. I'm going to pause. We're going to pause. Good choice. And you... Open that pack, Brian. Thanks. You open that pack. All right, I'm opening the Lost Thunder pack. It's happening. We got to boom up a little bit. D enhance. Yeah. The people have their needs and wants, babe. The people demanded it. The people, yeah. The, the people. people. The people. You, the people, the po the people have the power to demand the Pokemon. The power to make this life free and beautiful. <laughs> Does anyone want to try to predict the energy card inside this pack? Now would be your chance to do so. <laughs> and then we'll pull a winner for our prize. Anybody who plays the online version of the game, please feel free. It's, actually, no. <laughs> 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 it's so zany. I'm putting it upside down. And if, if you can figure out what it says or find some way to get this information, you can have it. But if not, it's over. It's gone. <laughs> One, two, Riddle us three. this. Riddle me this. <laughs> Which of these energy is next? Three, two, one. It is fire. Ooh, it is. Tell me of sin. Tell me new. Tell me of sin called it. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. I won't fire he. Fire he, it's for you. <laughs> one, two, three. My oh. baby don't mess around. This is a daily bird and he just wants a sandwich. <laughs> Give me a sandwich of my own choice. <laughs> Give me a sandwich of my own choice. Yeah. I'm so tired of all of you deciding what sandwich I will have, says the Dilly Bird. But today, I want a sandwich but today of my is own the choice. day. I want a sandwich of my own choosing. <laughs> I'll marry for love, Father. Favorite sandwiches? Cascoons. Lost Blender. Sound off. Favorite sandwiches. And in the meantime, apropos to very little, Amelia would like... I like a tuna sandwich as well. Tuna sandwich is a weird yeah. answer, but it's okay. I like it. I like it. That's okay. I don't. <laughs> uh, I think ooh. that might be... Oh, seven. Poplio. Oh, he's cute. Poplio. He's a little sea Turkey. lion. <gasps> Spin arc. Living their best life. Teriyaki chicken. Chicken bacon avocado. Minkeda. <gasps> Another Eevee, an Eevee I do not have. Oh, no. Eevee, we've never met you. <laughs> I've never seen that Eevee before. Ham and cheese. Oh, cutie fly. Oh, that's a unique cutie fly. Reverse hollow cutie fly with a fairy type. 
fairy energy. Very fun. Sweet scent. What's next, team? I think we got some... Oh! Oh! Uh, the moment you've been waiting for! The moment you've been waiting for! Can you do the shocks Pikachu face? Oh! Oh! Yes! Team! Come on now! Mimikyu. Oh my gosh! This is like a Pikachu! Is beneath. that an ultra rare? This is a secret rare! Secret rare? This is number 226 of 218. We gotta sleeve it right up, team! Oh! That is a fairy type Mimikyu GX! Secret rare! Secret rare! Oh, we can perplex. I'm just gonna slip this in this uh, little, little case here. Hey, Tasha Who, welcome back for four months. It's I mean, so shiny. That was a good open. A very, very good omen. What a lovely way to end the stream. Honestly, I'm kind of freaking out inside. I'm very <laughs> happy about this. Um, I Mimikyu mean, a secret is, rare is pretty rare. That is a very fun Mimikyu. Very good pull, team. Excellent call on that Lost Thunder Sun and Moon pack. Appreciate that, team. Thank you, thank you. Are you happy? I'm so happy. I'm going to go back to sorting Pokemon cards. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you do want to trade Pokemon cards with me, I'm very excited about it right now. Exclamation point Pokemon Katie Rose is literally reading my mind. <laughs> uh, I made a list on our website of the Pokemon I'm looking for. If you'd like to trade, let me know by email what cards you're looking for, and we'll make it happen. Uh, thank you all for nerding out with me. It's very cool. Mimikyu is gorgeous. Yes. Yeah, so let's pull a winner. Yeah, so this would be a winner for our EV card going along with a Deckard Games Holofoil sticker. Uh, we send these out to say thank you for joining us live on stream, and all you gotta be is here. Type all thing you gotta in the, be is here. All you gotta be is here. Just be here hanging out with us. Type a thing in the chat and let us know that you're here. A friendly, positive word will go a long way. Uh, and uh, be extra gentle with yourself today, friends, and, and be extra gentle with your friends friends because uh there's a lot of uh, a lot of energy flowing around a lot of people feeling a lot of different things so yeah. i want you to know that you are loved and you're worthy of love and we are grateful that you're here sharing positive words in the chat thank you look at you go yeah. i love to see it all right all right we got a winner coming along um are you ready with the gong my my sweet wife oh am i okay mm. we got a sticker and an EV going home with some awesome human who's here with us on the stream. Awesome human. You can feel it right now in your bones. You know it's you. You know when she strikes the gong, it's gonna say your name. Strike of the gong. <laughs> Beth! Hey! Beth, congratulations. Beth Portialesi, maybe? <laughs> uh, as someone whose last name is always mispronounced, it's Descart, by the way. Uh, Beth. Portialisi, thank you for being here with us. Portialis. Portialis, congratulations. Portialis. Uh, please feel free to let me know how to pronounce that better. <laughs> um, but keep an eye, you, you, there you go. Um, <laughs> if you uh, have your whispers turned on, you'll get a message from Colorful Mess, our mod, to find out where we can send. Uh, please make a note, uh, mods, that is for the holofoil sticker and an Eevee to go uh, along an with. An Eevee. And Beth, thank you for your support. And everybody, thank you for hanging out with us. Um, Amelia will tell you what yes. we're up to in the next. So tomorrow we are continuing playing The Quarry, which is a super spooky branching narrative game. Uh, and then on Sunday, we're starting Red Dead Redemption 2. We're going to hit all the main story quests. And on Tuesday, we're chilling out with Stardew Valley. And next Friday, we will finish unpacking. So thank you all so much for recommending this game. It has been exactly what I needed. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, you um, saved our souls with this game yes, today. Thank you for saving our souls. <laughs> and uh, oh, and Scorpio Inc., thank you for that gift sub to Beth. That's oh, very kind of you, you, friend. Appreciate um, you. Yeah, friends, thank you so much for hanging out with us and for, for being you and for bringing the chill vibes. And uh, we're excited, uh, excited for more games this weekend. Yeah, we got a, a little poll we're going to do before we raid of where should we go, and we got some more chill games uh, on the on the list here. We got number one in the chat for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and number two in the chat for Stardew Valley. I think those are some perfect Stardew. selections. Um, and uh, can I please get some love from our awesome mod team? Mod team! Yes. Lieutenants! Mod love! Thank you for helping us out and hanging out with everybody. Uh, appreciate you being here, moderators and lieutenants alike. 
and each and every one of you being here vibing with us. Thank you, Pandora Yuki RK800, for the gift sub to Patty Cake. Yeah, Natty right. Cake. Oh, sorry. Natty just, Cake, you know, Natty Cake. Oh, oh, Natty Cake. Natty Cake. Natty Cake. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Ba -dum. Thank you, friends. Appreciate yes. you being here. Take care, Zoe Plays. All right, uh, and it, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, that's we right. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Let's see what we're going to find. The raid is Stardew Valley wins the day. Stardew. Oh, Animal Crossing's very close. If anybody else wants to uh, decide where we go, one or a two in the chat. One for Animal Crossing, two for Stardew Valley. Stardew. Stardew. In the Doo -doo. valley of gold. Is dead with the chase. <laughs> We've been singing to our cat in the various Stardew songs. Soundtracks, yeah. That we do 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 do. It's Stardew. Uh -huh. Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing's got love, but it's just a little bit shy of winning the raid today, team. Just we're, barely. We're gonna go over uh, to a streamer called Becky, and if you like what they're up to, let's be sure to drop some follows on their channel and some emotes in their chat. Appreciate you all being here and hanging out with us. And again, thanks mods and lieutenants for uh, helping the stream be so smooth. Yeah, it's lovely. Thank you all for being here with us. My name is Brian. My name is Amelia. <laughs> and this, this is, is our, our Twitch. Miss <laughs> Okami. Oh, Miss You Okami. sweet mammal. You friend of mine. Thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing thank the fire. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Okami. If you got a gift sub for Miss Okami, be sure to thank her before the stream ends. And if you'd like to check out the starter kit, it's right there. Exclamation point starter kit what? and exclamation point Pokemon. Y'all are so sweet. That's right. That's right. Let's go show Becky some love, yes. shall we? Let's do it. All right. The raid's going to happen in three, two, two one. one. Raid, raid.